faith, excellence, service. Fun takes flight at Blackford Bend Casino. Hundreds of the latest and hottest slots, in-person sports wagering at our sports book, great dining in our restaurant, and the friendliest people around. Join us for hot seats every Wednesday afternoon in February. A guest wins $50 in free play every 15 minutes. Get $5 in free play for every 25 points you earn on Thursday afternoons and evenings. And earn six times points on all your play on Saturday afternoons and evenings and seven times points all day on Sundays. Fun takes flight at Blackbird Bend Casino near Ottawa, Iowa. Do you have rooms in your house that could use a refresh? Then pick out a color and get painting with help from the Ace Hardware in Lamar's in Orange City. We have a huge selection of Benjamin Moore paint and tons of colors to choose from. You can even choose a custom color or take a color from another brand and put it into our Benjamin Moore paint. Stop by our paint studios and let our helpful associates not only mix your paint, but make sure you get the right brushes and accessories. Refresh a room or two with Benjamin Moore paint, Ace Hardware, in Lamar's in Orange City. Transform your smile and boost your confidence. It's the new year and time for a new you. Join us for Lamar's Dental Center's Invisalign event February 16th and get the smile you deserve and save $500. Say goodbye to traditional braces and hello to discreet, comfortable, clear aligners. No one will even notice. Don't miss this limited time offer. Sign up prior to the event and take advantage of $500 off your treatment. Call to schedule your consultation today. Lamar's Dental Center, where your dream smile is waiting. Offer valid only at the event. Consultation must be completed prior to event. Terms and conditions apply. His pocket in transition one up. None! Oh, and an emphatic two-handed jam! It's now time for high school basketball on 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, A-L-E-M. And that goes to Holes, drives middle of the paint to the hoop with the right hand, scores plus another foul. High school basketball. Holes, a double down, pass left blocks, has been off glass, count the basket and the foul. Now let's head courtside for all the action. Hazel at the top of the key, blows by his defender, all the way to the basket, the right hand layup goes. Here's KLEM Sports Director, Daniel Versteg. Well, a very pleasant good Friday evening to you basketball fans. We welcome you inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus for tonight's Oracle Conference Girls and Boys Basketball Doubleheader. It is Galen Catholic taking on the Royals of MMC. Are you? Once again, good evening, everyone. Daniel Versteg with you. We welcome you into our pregame coverage of Oracle Conference basketball on KLEM Lamars. We're online audio streaming at KLEM1410.com. We are also video streaming this contest, and you can check that out on our YouTube page, courtesy of our great sponsors, Julie Hurd, Realtor with Century 21 Pro Link, Peace Pizza House, Northwest Bank, as well as easy, clean car wash. Well, tonight it should be a great night of basketball. We've got a couple of very evenly matched squads about to go at it here tonight. Galen Catholic and MMCRU on the girls' side and on the boys' side. Two teams that, um, you know, are pretty similar as far as skill set is concerned, record-wise. Two teams that played uh, some very good ball games against one another earlier in the year. And so I'm um, looking forward to a, a really fun night of basketball. And an opportunity for that right away on the girls' side. The Galen Catholic girls are coming in struggling this year. They are 2-17, and 1-7, and seven, tied for ninth in the Royal Conference. Meanwhile, MMCRU is 4-12. and 12. They are 1-7 and seven in Royal Conference action. They've also struggled. They're pretty young, and so they, uh, they've, they've kind of had to deal with uh, the growing pains of having a younger team and uh, sophomores and juniors uh, do a lot of the lifting. Of course, uh, one senior has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting and Jaden Young, but outside of that, it is a much younger lineup than the Royals are used to. Of course, just a few years ago, state runners up in uh, Class 1A in girls basketball with a lot of seniors on the roster that year. But uh, now this year, of course, dealing with some of the growing pains that come with um, with all of that and uh, with, with the youth and inexperience that uh, they might have this year. Meanwhile, Galen Catholic kind of on, the, on a similar path. They do have a few more seniors that uh, contribute for Galen, but uh, still by and large a pretty young and inexperienced team as well. But the nice thing is these two squads uh, feel like this game is winnable for them. It's uh, going to be a very competitive ball game. Of course, uh, both teams right now are 1-7 in the War Eagle Conference, and so they're kind of hoping that maybe uh, they can get their second conference win of the year uh, if they can 
can uh, beat the other here tonight. You look at MMCRU, they got to go to George Little Rock to finish off the conference schedule. That's going to be a tough matchup. Mustangs are a top 15 team in Class 1A. Meanwhile, Galen Catholic's going to have to go on the road at West Sioux to round out the conference schedule. So uh, they're kind of running out of games to win the conference race as far as that is concerned, but an opportunity here uh, to get themselves on the right track. Galen Catholic's coming off a loss at Hinton. It's been a really tough stretch of games. Uh, here at this point in the season. The Jays had to finish their home schedule on Saturday against fourth-ranked Rims and St. Mary's. Had to go to Hinton on Monday. They come here, which is always a tough place to play in Marcus. And then West Sioux is never easy as well. That's on Tuesday. MMCRU, meanwhile, coming off a loss on uh, well, last night. They took on Rims and St. Mary's. The Hawks remained unbeaten, defeating the Royals 63-22. Before that, a road contest out South O'Brien. We've seen how tough uh, the Wolverines have played uh, some of the teams in, in the area in the Oregon Conference. They played Akron Westfield, only lost them by 10. So some really good basketball uh, as of late for the uh, Royals. They've been competing hard. They even got a win at West Sioux, a nice buzzer-beating basket from Lana Florin. Galen Catholic's last win was also a buzzer-beater on the same night at South O'Brien, a three-pointer from Larissa Poland. So two teams who are trying to build some momentum for the tournament. Yes, we do have tournament matchups now for high school girls basketball in the area. Class 1A, Galen Catholic is in Region 4, and the Jays will take on the Wolves of Harris Lake Park in Lake Park coming up Thursday night at 7 o'clock. MMCRU is in Class 2A, Region 7, and they will be at Lawton Bronson uh, on 7 o'clock on Saturday, February 10th. So it is time. Uh, running out of regular season games, which means one thing. We're going to start getting into single elimination, win or go home territory. There's no time better uh, than postseason basketball time in high school sports. And uh, that is coming up in, uh, well, in a, less than a week. We're, we're going to have our first tournament game Thursday night in Lake Park when Galen Catholic takes on Harris Lake Park in postseason basketball. It is Galen Catholic and MMCRU in girls basketball action here in the Wargo Conference tonight, seeing which team can pick up their second conference win of the year and who is going to take a little bit of extra momentum heading into uh, the postseason tournament. Of course, that's the girls game. Figure we get you caught up on uh, where the boys sit as well. The Galen Catholic boys are 7-11 and on the season, 4-4 four and four in the Wargo Conference. An overtime loss on Monday to the Hinton Blackhawks, and uh, we'll try and get back on the right track now, losers of three in a row. Meanwhile, MMCRU, boy, they have fallen on some tough luck. They did win six games in a row, which was great to see. But, man, a two-point loss to South O'Brien when you had a chance to win it there at the end. Rems and St. Mary's losing to the Hawks by only five points last night. And a uh, really good fight. But uh, the Royals, I think the, the problem for them, I've seen them, the, the games they lose, they really struggle offensively. And, and you know, you'd say, oh, well, yeah, duh, no, no shocker there. But it's a little bit more extra that uh, they, they struggle offensively. Uh, teams... Uh, when they struggle or lose a game, it's because sometimes the defense doesn't work. But uh, the Royals, when they lose, they're scoring 42, 43, 46, 36, and 43 points uh, in a game. Uh, the South O'Brien loss was by 64 points. But uh, that was uh, that's, that's just kind of the way it is. MMCRU, if they go cold from the field, uh, they, they really struggle on a given night. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen here tonight. It'll be interesting to see if we can get a, a high of a higher scoring game with the Galen Catholic boys also struggled offensively last uh, last game out on Monday an overtime loss to Hinton so uh, they couldn't buy a basket there in overtime gonna be a really fun matchup here tonight as Galen Catholic takes on MMCRU in Huergo Conference girls and boys basketball we're pleased to bring it to you whether you're listening to it on air here on KLEM radio online at KLEM1410.com, or if you're watching the game, we've got that for you, too, on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel, thanks to the great sponsors you see in the corner of your screen. We will take a break, come back, and we'll get you your starting lineups for this contest. Galen Catholic and MMCRU in Oregon Conference Girls and Boys Basketball. Girls contest coming up in just a few minutes, and uh, it's senior night here in Marcus as well, so it's going to be a fun atmosphere for basketball. We'll take a break, and we'll come back with more of our basketball coverage from Marcus here on KLEM Radio. 
Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student-athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. This is Rizaya Sitzman, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Daniel Versteg with you here on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video streaming this contest as well. You can find that on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Galen Catholic taking on MMCRU in a Wargo Conference girls and boys basketball doubleheader. Girls contest about to get tipped off here in just a few minutes. And, of course, you can listen to all the action right here on KLEM Lamar's and a video stream on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. MMCRU and Galen Catholic. Matching up here tonight, the Galen Catholic girls are 2-17 and 17 on the year. 1-7 of the War Eagle Conference, MMCRU 4-12, and 1-7 and and in conference play. And I know the, the conference races don't always, um, you know, necessarily draw as big an interest as, say, maybe uh, at the college level or things like that, but it is still a big deal uh, for these teams that play in the conference on a night-in and night-out basis, say, hey, we're better than our peers and uh, that's always some good bragging rights to have. Good opportunity for uh, MMCRU to uh, sweep Galen Catholic here this season. They beat them uh, to open the year on, Fe on December 1st. My goodness, a long time ago, December 1st. And uh, now this one will count toward the conference standings. Of course, you can play teams in the Warrior Conference tw uh, twice in a year, but only one of them is going to count toward the overall conference race. And that is the game we have for you 
here tonight. Again, uh, MMCRU is going to finish off the year on uh, Monday and Tuesday next week. They'll take on Grettinger, Terrell, Ruth, Van Ayrshire here in Marcus on Monday. And then they're at George Little Rock to wind down the conference and regular season schedule on Tuesday. Of course, they'll be at Lawton Bronson in the opening round of the regional tournament on Saturday the 10th. Meanwhile, Galen Catholic wraps up the season on Tuesday next week in Hayward at West Sioux. We'll have it for you right here on a KLEM radio, as they will we have the uh, postseason game on Thursday the 8th at Harris Lake Park. So Galen Catholic taking on MMC Harhue and Wargo Conference girls and boys basketball. Girls game about to get tipped off here in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at our uh, starting lineups here tonight. First for Galen Catholic. And the Jays are sitting with a 2-17 and record. They are 1-7 and in the Wargo Conference, tied for ninth in the league under ninth-year head coach Brandon Shecker. And the starting lineup for the Jays looks like this. It'll be a 5'8 junior guard and an honorable mention all Wargo Conference selection last year. That'd be Isaiah Sitzman at 10 points, 4 steals, and 4 rebounds against Hinton on Monday. Also in the starting lineup, a 5'1 senior guard. That's Haley Poland, 7 points against the Blackhawks on Monday. 5'5 senior guard is Larissa Poland, 6 points tonight to go along with 4 rebounds and 2 assists. 5'9 junior center is Samantha Zubrod, 5 rebounds a game for Zubrod. And the 5'10 senior center is Nevaeh Otson, 5.5 points and 3 rebounds. A contest. It's the Galen Catholic starting lineup for Brandon Shecker, head coach and assisted by Brian Kolbeck. We will give you the MMCRU start lineup when we come back to Marcus for our broadcast of Oracle Conference Girls Basketball. MMCRU starters coming up next here on KLEM. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamar's supports our local student athletes trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC located at 38 First Avenue Northwest Lamar's Iowa. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products. And they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of Hy-Vee and Lamar's. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. This is Nevea Hodson and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. And we're back to Marcus for our Wargo Conference girls and boys basketball coverage. MMCRU and Galen Catholic ready to tip it off in girls basketball here in just a moment. We gave you the Galen starting lineup right before our national anthem. Let's take a look at the MMCRU starting lineup for eighth-year head coach Jillian Lecce, a 4-12 and record on the year, 1-7, and tied for ninth in the Wargo Conference. The starting lineup of a 5'7 junior guard, that's Kylie Harpinoff, 8 points, 4 rebounds a contest. That's a 5'7 sophomore guard and 4 
forward combo. It's Riley Groves, who does not have any stats to this point, but is getting the start here tonight. That's a 5.8 senior guard. Honorable mention all-conference selection last year. It's Jaden Young, 10.5 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 4 assists a contest. 5.9 senior guard and forward combo is Kennedy Tenninger, averaging 2 points and 3 rebounds a ball game. And then around the line of a 5.9 senior forward and center, it's Andrea Penning. Jillian Lecce, the head coach of MMCRU Girls Basketball. She is assisted by Danae Dreckman as well as Melissa Young. Should be a great matchup. It was a royal win on December 1st. 53-31 to 31 was that final score. And uh, Galen's going to try and avenge that loss here tonight. And, of course, uh, both teams looking for their second Royal Conference win of the season as Galen Catholic at MMCRU go at it here tonight. We're glad to bring it to you, whether you're listening on air here on KLEM Radio or watching on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. We're glad you're tuned in for what should be a great night of girls basketball. The opening tap is taken by MMCRU. Jaden Young throws it down to the left block for Kennedy Tenninger and could not control the pass. It ends up going out of bounds on the end line, and it'll be Galen Catholic basketball to start things off. So the Royals turn it over. Here comes Rysea Sitzman to the half court. Left side wing with a between legs dribble. Top of the key to Larissa Poland. She dribbles to her right to the high post. Backs it out up top. It's Zubrod looking. Ben lobs it back to Poland on the right side wing. Drives down to the right corner. Crossover dribble. Lobs it down right block. Hodson puts it up over the defender. Off the back side of the rim and in. And Galen Catholic is on the board first with an Avea Hodson post basket. 2-0 Jays. 7.26 to go in the first quarter. MMCRU tries to work the press as Penning moved both pivot feet and traveled with the basketball. It'll be Galen Catholic getting possession back. A 2-0 Galen advantage. 7.23 to go in quarter number one. And Rysea Sitzman with the ball back for the Jays. A two possession, two turnovers for the Royals. Sitzman off the dribble, left of the circle, three missed way strong. Long rebound, flagged down by Navea Hodson. And the Jays get another look. Left high post, Zubrod drives into the alley, goes up with a right hand layup. That one missed short. And the rebound loose on the floor. Larissa Poland diving for the loose ball. They're going to call a jump ball. And the possession stays with Galen Catholic. So the Jays still with an opportunity to extend that lead to two scores. 2-0, two J advantage, 7.06 to go in the first quarter. Rysea Sitzman, bounce pass left block, turnaround hook from Hodson, miss wide left. Nice post defense from Riley Groves, and then she was fouled from behind by Hodson. So Hodson picks up her first, team foul number one of the first quarter, as Groves not only made a nice post defensive play, but then boxed out Hodson, forced the foul on the rebound. Here comes MMCRU. This time they break the press cleanly. Kylie Harpin onto the half court. Gives it off to Andrea Penning. Top of the key, it's Kennedy Tenninger. Middle of the lane to the free throw line. Lose the basketball on the floor. Haley Poland then wraps up Penning for the loose ball. It'll be a jump ball call, and the possession stays with MMCRU. 6.50 to go in the first quarter. 2-0 Galen advantage. Inbound baseline right of the hoop from Young. Bounces into the right corner. Penning back top to Harpenau. Looking back to Young in the right corner. Thought about the three. Drives instead to the high post. Bounced it out up top. Harpenau to the left elbow. Pull up 14-footer. Banks a bit too strong. And the rebound with Nevea Hodson. Here come the Jays working quickly. It's Larissa Poland bouncing across the lane to the left block for Haley Poland. Back to Larissa. She goes up with a shot on the right block and is fouled on it. Two free throws are coming courtesy of Riley Groves. It's Groves' is first and MMCRU's first foul of the night. Two free throws are coming here for Larissa Poland. The first for Larissa is short. Larissa Poland comes up just a touch short of the free throw. Second one upcoming here for Larissa, who shoots 54% on the year. Law of averages says this one is going in. And the law of averages would be correct. The second free throw is good for Larissa Poland. 3-0 Galen lead, 6.32 to go in the first quarter. Royals have to pass break up the press, and here they go with Groves, and the ball's poked loose by Sitzman. Poland picks up the loose ball. Larissa over to Haley, left of the lane to the block. Runner off the glass is good, and it's a 5-0 start to the night for Galen Catholic with 6.16 to go in the first. Jaden Young up the right side lane, crosses up a defender to get up the floor. Right side lane, Harpen out of the right block to the cup. Missed the layup short, but she was fouled. And two free throws are coming for Kylie Harpenau. This one's Sammy Zubrod picking up her first. Team foul number two of the first quarter. We've got two free throws coming for MMCRU's Kylie Harpenau, the junior. And her first free throw is up and in, and MMCRU is on the board. It's a 5-1 Galen Catholic advantage. 
as MMCRU gets on the board. Kylie Harpenau's first free throw is good. Grace Callen checks out, or checks in for the Jays. Riley Groves checked down. She's re uh, for MMCRU, replaced by Chloe Atlas. The second free throw for Harpenau misses. Galen Catholic takes the rebound the other way. Here's Sitzman right lane, and she traveled on the pivot. Under the basket, MMCRU will get the basketball back. 6.04 to go in the first, 5-1 Galen Catholic after the turnover by the Jays. Now Sitzman deflects a pass in the backcourt, tries to dribble around the defender, and she is fouled on the play by Kennedy Tenninger. Kennedy Tenninger with her first, team foul number two of the first quarter. And Galen will inbound baseline right of the hoop. Going to be Rizea Sitzman to trigger it in for the Jays. Jays up four, looking to inbound quickly. Sitzman in the right corner, Larissa Polin. Dribbles back out up top. Sitzman open look at a straightaway three and puts it in. Rizea Sitzman from the top of the arc. And that puts the Jays up seven. 8 1 Galen. 5.48 to go in the first quarter. MMCRU breaks the press up the floor. A loose ball picked up by Tia Tenninger. Left side of the lane to the baseline and dribbles it out beyond the arc of the corner. Tried to throw it back to Kennedy Tenninger. Rizea Sitzman could not come up with the interception on the deflected pass. It ends up going out of bounds off the Jays last. It'll stay with MMCRU, they're gonna say a change of possession and then they're gonna say a timeout will be called here by MMCRU. 5.37 to go in the first quarter. It's Galen eight, MMCRU one. We're back with more of our basketball coverage after this on KLEM. When it comes to service, your Lamar's hy V is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hi, sports fans. This is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar. We're happy to have you pleasure looking at the efficient meeting in your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar. This is Coach Shucker, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. Back to the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Verstek with you. On KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video streaming on the KLEM radio YouTube channel. 5.37 to go in the first quarter. It's an 8-1 to one Galen Catholic lead. MMCRU calling their first time out of the night. Tia Tenninger of the ball stripped loose by Rizea Sitzman. Goes uncontested left side of the lane to the block and lays it in off last for two. It's a 10-1 to one Galen Catholic advantage. Midway through the first quarter, 5.22 to go in the first. Long outlet, T Kennedy Tenninger finds Kylie Harpin on right side of the lane to the block. Layup missed short. Oh, board put back off the bottom of the frame from Chloe Olish. And the rebound tracked down by Larissa Poland as MMCRU then deflects the dribble of Poland out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Jays. What a start to the night here for Galen Catholic getting steals. Really doing a good job of playing some strong defense here. Sitzman, floater up from 10 feet, spins out of the rim, an offensive rebound. Sitzman then gets fouled on the rebound put-back attempt. And they get Kylie Harpin off for the foul, her first and team's third. And they're going to say Sitzman was in the act of shooting. So two free throws are coming here for Isaiah. She was about to get to the act of shooting, that's for sure. Whether or not she was in the act of shooting, I guess, could be debated. First free throw is up and good. It's now 11 to one Galen Catholic. Although I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get in too many debates with one of our officials here tonight. He might be the former sheriff of a Northwest Iowa County. So that's not a guy you wanna pick on. Second free throw for Sitzman off the left side of the rim, no good. And the rebound tracked down by Kennedy Tenninger. It's always good to see Dave Drew uh, here officiating a basketball contest. He's one of the three men in the stripes here tonight. Kylie Harpin off, a pick from Chloe Aulis, right side wing, inside the arc, and lobs it back out up top for Tia Tenninger, steps into a straightaway three and puts it in. That's the first field goal of the night for MMCRU. Tia Tenninger gets the Royals on the board from downtown. It's 11 to four in favor of Galen Catholic. Here's Larissa Poland, bounce pass to her right to Kellen in the right corner, and hands it off for Sitzman. He dribbles to the free throw line, left corner kick out, wide open three from Haley Poland, too strong, oh board on the backside. Hodson puts it up too strong. Another put back from Sitzman, falls off the glass and in. A nice put back there by Rizea Sitzman. It's 13 to four in favor of Galen Catholic. Now MMCRU's broken the press, left side lane. Tia Tenninger missed an open layup. It danced off the rim, and then we get a foul on the rebound. I think this one's gonna go against MMCRU, and it will. Chloe Olish gets whistled for the foul. That's her first. It's team foul number four for MMCRU. Nevaeh Hodson kind of took a shot there. 
And Samantha Zubrod will check in for Hodson. Yeah, kind of got kind of got Hodson either in the nose or in the mouth. And so she's got to come off the floor. Here comes Sitzman, left side wing, guarded by Jaden Young to the free throw line. Spins left to the lane to the block, tried to kick it out. Ball gets tied up with Chloe Olish. I'm going to say a jump ball is called, and the possession will stay with Galen. 3.57 to go in the first quarter. Gatlin Catholic leads MMCRU 13-4 in War Eagle Conference girls basketball. Rizea sits middle inbound, baseline left of the hoop. Takes the bounce, lobs it up top for Poland, and it gets deflected, and Larissa recovers at the half-court circle. Larissa Poland, right side wing for Grace Kellen. Kellen bounces up top, Sitzman jabs left to the high post and back out to Haley Poland. Skip pass right, Sammy Zubrod, bounce right corner, Grace Kellen, bounce back out to Poland, swings it left, long two from Poland from 16, left corner, misses short, and the rebound tracked down by Chloe Olish. Here come the Royals in transition. Kennedy Tenninger thought about the three on the left wing, drives the left baseline instead, tried to throw it across the lane, and Haley Poland slots the pass out of bounds. It'll stay with Galen Catholic or stay with MMCRU, excuse me. 3.28 to go in the first. 13 to four, favor of Galen, inbound right corner. Tia Tenninger, another three-point attempt. This one missed strong that time, but the rebound tracked down by Olish. She is all over the glass here tonight for the Royals. Kick out pass, Kylie Harpenoff. Free throw line jumper off the shot fake, missed everything wide left. Rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Galen Catholic basketball going the other way. 3.16 to go in quarter number one, and. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU 13-4 in Huygo Conference girls basketball. Rizea Sitzman left side wing. It's Haley Lubin now, top of the arc. Callen steps into a long two, missed it off the right side of the rim, and the rebound for Chloe Olish. Here come the Royals quickly. Kylie Harpin on middle of the floor, went up with a layup, and she got bumped from behind by Grace Kellen. Missed the free throw. Kylie Harpin will shoot two. It's Kellen's first personal, team foul number three of the first quarter, and so Kylie Harpenau, the 59% free throw shooter this year, will shoot two free throws. Kylie Harpenau with her first, and it's too strong. Now one of three at the free throw line tonight. Emerson Schmidt checks into the ball game for Galen Catholic, and Grace Kellen checks out. Three minutes to play in the first, 13-4. Galen Catholic, second for Harpenau is up and good. It's one of two to fall, 13 to five in favor of Galen Catholic. Three minutes to go in the first quarter and Harpenau goes to the bench. She's got two of the five points here for MMCRU so far. Here comes Galen Catholic, Isaiah Sitzman. Over to the right side corner for Sammy Zubrod. Bounces up top for Haley Lubin, left side Emerson Schmidt. Schmidt looking left, pivots back right, top of the arc for Haley Lubin. Left side wing, it's Rizea Sitzman, jab step, thought about it, dribbles to her right to the point. Hand off for Larissa Poland to the left wing. Crossover back to the right to the free throw line. Bounced out, Haley Lubin, straight away three, airballed short. Was it deflected? No, it was airballed on its own. It'll be MMCRU basketball going the other way. Well, that's what the Royals need. They need some defensive stops, something to go their way, and then... See if they can turn into points on the other end. Kennedy Tenninger up the floor. Gets into the hands of Gracie Schrader, right side wing. Spins out of trouble and fell to the floor with possession of the basketball. It's a traveling violation and Galen Catholic will get it back. 2.22 to go in the first quarter, 13 to five. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU in Portugal Conference girls basketball. Rizea Sitzman, spin move in the lane. Left corner kick out, wide open three from Emerson Schmidt is too strong. Long rebound, right corner is flagged down by Chloe Olish. There's a loose ball on the floor. We're going to get a jump ball call, and the possession goes to MMCRU. And once again, Chloe Olish finds herself in the middle of those 50-50 possessions to force the rebound or force a tie-up. That's a great play by Olish. 13-5, Gatlin Catholic leads MMCRU. Here come the Royals now. Gracie Schrader up into the half court. Bounces into the right corner. Tia Tenninger drives by the defender. Out up top, wide open three for Jaden Young. That missed strong. Long rebound, right corner. It is flagged down by Olish again, but then she dribbled it out of bounds in the right corner. Man, once again, Chloe Olish got her hands on an offensive rebound. She is just all over the floor for the Royals. Some good minutes off the bench for MMCRU. And now here's Rizea Sitzman. Off a screen, dribbles to the right side of the lane, to the block, stuck under the basket, gets double teamed, throws it out up top. Larissa Poland drives left to the alley. Teardrop from 14, Miss Strong. Fight for the rebound is tied up once again with Olish and Poland. 
And uh, Larissa does a good job of at least forcing the jump ball. Possession stays with Galen. With a minute 34 to go in quarter number one, it's 13-5. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. Jays keep the basketball with the alternating arrow in their favor. And so now the Jays will inbound baseline left of the hoop with Haley Lubin. Shot clock did reset as well. Inbound up top, Isaiah Sitzman straightaway three, air balled short. And that goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Jays. It'll stay or becomes MMCRU basketball. Royals inbound. And again, the Jays are wasting no time getting into their press. Long outlet pass in the hands of Riley Groves. Left side lane to the block. Gets by Sammy Zubrod and lays it in with the left hand. Riley Groves into the contest and with the basket. 13-7. Galen Catholic, Emerson Schmidt, quick shot on the left baseline from 15 feet. Air ball is short, and MMCRU long outlet finds Kylie Harpen all right lane to the block. Nice defense there from Lubin. Bounced out right high post. Gracie Schrader, the 15-foot jumper is good. And it is 13-9 in favor of Galen Catholic. 58 seconds to go in the first quarter. Isaiah Sitzman in transition. Left corner, Emerson Schmidt looking to pass it out and finds Zubrod, left high post. Bounced up top. Poland works off a pick. Left side of lane, lobs it under, left block. Schmidt thought about it. Kick out pass left wing. Sitzman ahead fake. They're going to say an offensive three-second violation in the uh, lane there for Galen Catholic. Turns the basketball over and kills the possession. So just like that, MMCRU has a chance to cut it to a one-score game down 13-9 after trailing as much as 13-4 in this contest. 43 and a half seconds to go in the first quarter. Royals throw it up four, and this one gets deflected out of bounds by Nevaeh Hodson. It'll stay with MMCRU in the half court. Royals have just had to resort to 30 to 40-foot passes to get the ball into the half court. Kylie Harpenau will inbound the basketball for MMCRU. All our passing lanes cut off. They get into Jaden Young, and now the possession starts back up. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. 13-9, Galen Catholic. Young, a ball fake. Picks up her dribble top of the key. She's dead with it. Lobs it right side wing for Gracie Schrader. Drives right of the lane to the block. Throws it up. Too strong. Rebound tapped out. Kylie Harpenau left wing. Drives to the elbow. Out to Jaden Young on left wing. She drives left baseline. Cut off by Kellen. Out up top, Gracie Schrader downhill. Right corner kick out, Chloe Alish a three. That comes up short. Oh, board from Groves. Gives it back to Alish. Free throw line, Harpenau. Runner with a right hand is good from the heel. A right elbow jumper from Harpenau. Now with short time, Sitzman tees up a 40-foot three as time expires, and she misses it wide left. Your score after... Eight minutes of intense basketball. It's Galen Catholic 13, MMCRU 11. Second quarter comes your way after this from Marcus here on KLEM. Hi, this is Misty Zach. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Abby Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at exitrealtymidwest.com. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Julian Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Julian Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. This is Larissa Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on LEM. We walk you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Radio. Online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video streaming as well on YouTube channel. It's 13 to 11. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU and board the ball. Right corner three from Riley Groves. Misses strong. Long outlet pass into the hands of Sitzman. One on two to the cup. Right block. Hook shot off. Glass is in for two. That's a much needed basket for Galen. They were... Kind of sputtering there to end the first quarter. 15-11, Kalen leads it. Start of quarter number two. 
Royals throw it up floor, pass down low is deflected out by Galen, and it will be MMCRU basketball underneath the cup. 7.24 to go in the first half. It's a 15 to 11 advantage in favor of Galen Catholic. Inbound pass left wing, Riley Groves. Bounces it across the top of the key, Kylie Harpenoff, right of the circle, drives to the high post, and that ball's swatted out by Haley Poland, and it will be MMCRU basketball in that right corner. So Harpenoff will try and inbound it, and has to settle for Jaden Young right away on the flash out, open early. Right corner feed, Kylie Harpenoff puts it on the floor, and started moving beforehand. It's a traveling violation to give Galen Catholic the basketball. 7-10 to go in the first half. It is 15-11 in favor of Galen Catholic and Fuego Conference girls basketball. Isaiah Sitzman over to the right side corner for Haley Poland. Back out up top for Grace Kellen. Left side wing for Isaiah Sitzman. And skips it right for Poland. Screen to her left from Hodson. Has a pick and roll look. Poland drives into the paint. Had the ball tied up with her. And no, she traveled with it. Went up with a shot. Got deflected. Didn't lose possession Still hung on to it and traveled. It'll be MMCRU getting the ball back. So a turnover for the Jays. 15-11 in favor of Galen. Here comes Harpenau. Right baseline, lob out past Tenninger. Bounces left wing. Groves drives left baseline, and she travels with the basketball. And Galen Catholic will take it back over. Marissa Poland checks in, and Haley Poland checks out for the Jays. Meanwhile, Tia Tenninger is in while Kylie Harpenau goes to the bench. 15 to 11 in favor of Galen Catholic and War Eagle Conference girls basketball. 6.37 to play before halftime. Here's Larissa Polan on the right wing. Gets a screen down to the right corner. Pick and roll pass to Hudson. Right block. Lays it too strong. Offensive board. Zubrod puts it off the glass and short. And then a fight for the rebound. It ends up in the hands of Chloe Olish. Who else? She's been all over the glass tonight for the Royals. Here comes Jaden Young. Screen to her left from Olish. Young off the pick. Off the dribble. Three left wing. Rims in and out. And the offensive rebound tracked down by Tenninger. Kennedy over to Tia, and Tia travels with the basketball. Turnover once again via a travel. Both teams have unfortunately turned the ball over a lot here the first few minutes of the contest. Galen will get it back. 15-11, Jays on top, 6.07 to go in the first half. Sitzman at the point. Dribbles left for the Jays, left corner feed, Larissa Poland, dribbles to her right, middle of the lane, right wing kick out, Nevaeh Hodson open look at a three, you betcha, Nevaeh Hodson drills it, and the Jays are up seven on the long ball from Nevaeh Hodson, 18-11, Galen, here comes Jaden Young, left of the lane, bounce pass across the lane, right block, Tenninger steps into a jumper, missed it strong, and the rebound tracked down by Haley Lubin, and before she put the ball on the floor, on the rebound, she traveled. A traveling violation against Lubin, and it'll stay with MMCRU. They get a mulligan on this possession. See if they can find the hoop. Left wing, kick out three for Young. It banks in. Jaden Young hit the left wing three off the glass, and it's 18-14 in favor of the Jays. Left corner, Larissa Poland bounced it out up top. Kellen steps on the arc, long two, misses short, and the rebound flagged down by Chloe Olish, and they get a foul against Rysea Sitzman, who bumped into her. Sitzman's first, team foul number one of the second quarter. And MMCRU will inbound. 5.27 to go before halftime, 18-14, Galen, MMCRU the inbound, right corner feed to Tenninger, he, Tia Tenninger, floater up from 10, right side lane, missed it short off a deflection, here comes Grace Kellen up the floor for the Jays, right side wing, balls bounced out up top, Sitzman dribbles, bounces back door, left baseline for Poland to the free throw line, out up top, Sitzman head fake, drives left to the lane to the block, scoop shot off, glass with the left hand, it settles, off the front of the rim and doesn't go. And the rebound tracked down by MMCRU. 50-foot pass up the floor. Free throw line open. Jumper from Tia Tenninger misses strong. Oh, board from Kennedy Tenninger. She gets tied. Catholic. 4.55 to go before halftime. Galen Catholic 18, MMCRU 14. Here in Warrego Conference Girls Basketball. Glad to bring it to you on KLEM. Kellen picks up her second personal. Team foul number two of the second quarter. And it will be... MMCRU inbounding baseline right of the hoop from Jaden Young. 20 to 14 in favor of Galen Catholic. 421 to go before halftime. Inbound right side wing for Riley Groves. Lobs it left corner. 
Into the hands of Chloe Allis. Tries to drive the left baseline. Cut off by Poland. Back out. Kylie Harpin out of the free throw line. Out to Jaden Young. Right side of the circles. Young bounced it down to the right block for Kennedy Tenninger. Lost the dribble for a moment. Kick out pass left corner. Deflected. Allis chucks up a three ball. Missed it. Stronghold board. The dribble for a moment. Kick out pass left corner. Deflected. Allis chucks up a three ball. Missed it. Stronghold board. Groves puts it short. Allis there again. Puts it back up. And she is fouled. Chloe Alish once again all over the glass, fouled by Haley Poland, her first. Team foul number three of the second quarter, and free throws are coming here for Chloe Alish. Four minutes to go before halftime. It is 20 to 14. Galen Catholic leads it. And Chloe Alish's first free throw misses short. She's got to stay on the floor here for MNCRU. She has. And the lion's share of the running here this evening. Second free throw for Alish is too strong. And the rebound toward the baseline. Controlled by to the top of the arc. And sets things up with Rizea Sitzman guarding her. Young off the dribble, off the screen. Right side of the lane to the block. It's all the way to the cup. Lays it short. He missed it, but she was fouled on it. And two free throws coming for Jaden Young. It's Haley Poland. Picks up her second and team foul number four of the second quarter for Galen Catholic. Two free throws coming here for Jaden Young. And the first free throw is good. 20 to 15, Galen Catholic on top. Jaden Young gets the free throw to fall. Second one upcoming. Is Sitzman left to the lane, uh, throws it out to Zubrod, and Sammy Zubrod drives to the free throw line. Out up top, Larissa Poland, right of the lane to the block, lays it up with the right hand and short, and the rebound to the baseline is out of bounds off the Jays last. It'll be MMCRU basketball. 309 to go halftime, 20 to 18. MMCRU on top, or uh, Galen on top. MMCRU trying to get the lead. A three ball would do just that. Right side wing, Harpenau throws it up top. Jaden Young dribbles to her right and tries to set up the offense there. Jaden Young, right of the circles, guarded by Sitzman. Down to the right corner, Riley Groves drives into the paint. Right block throws up a shot. She walks just before it. A traveling violation will give. Galen Catholic the basketball with 2.47 to go in the first half. 22-18 in favor of Galen Catholic. And here come the Jays. Isaiah Sitzman's into the half court with it. Left of the circles. Picked up by Kylie Harpenau. Works to her right for Larissa Poland. Screen to her left from Hodson. Poland step back top of the key. Good shot fake. Right baseline long two from Hodson. Off the back side of the rim. High bounce doesn't fall. Long rebound. Tracked down by Sitzman. Puts it back on the floor to the cup with a right hand layup and missed it short. But she was fouled. And two free throws are coming here for Rizea Sitzman. Give Riley Groves for the foul. Her second. Team foul number one of the second quarter. And two free throws are coming here for Galen and Rizea Sitzman. 20 to 18, and the first free throw from Sitzman misses off the right side, no good. Sitzman will try and make it a three point game and keep the one score aspect to only tie the game. The free throw from Sitzman is off the front of the rim, glass and good. 21 18 in favor of Galen Catholic. 2.22 left to play before halftime. Here come the Royals. Kennedy Tenninger up to Chloe Alish. Gets by Zubrod. Right block. Scoops it off glass and too strong. And she might be hurt. Alish is hurt on the backside of the play. Larissa Poland. Left wing kick out. Rizea Sitzman. A three balls up and in. And now they're going to stop play. Or no, they're not. They're, they're going to let the play keep going. My goodness. Alish came up play. And the Royals bring it up now with Jaden Young. Out up top, this is Lana Florine. Steps to the arc along two, misses strong. And the rebound from Alish puts it strong, and she's fouled. And two free throws will be coming here for Chloe Alish. Fouls on Sammy Zubrod, her second. Team foul number five. Alish will shoot two. And my goodness, yeah, Jillian Lecce was very upset with the officiating crew for not stopping the play with Alish down after kind of taking a shot from behind. On her first layup, first free throw here for Alish is good. She appears to be okay. 24 to 19 in favor of Galen Catholic. A minute 49 to go in the half. And the second free throw is up and strong. Rebound controlled by Jaden Young. Tries to throw it out and finds Harpen out. Right side of the lane to the block. And then she is fouled on the layup. And two free throws are coming for Kylie Harpen courtesy of Bella Schrader. It's her first. 
So two free throws are coming here for Kylie Harpenau after the foul by Schrader, who's into the contest in the post position. Harpenau's first free throw is good. 24 to 20, Galen Catholic leads it. And Harpenau is now three of five at the free throw line. This evening, second free throw for Harpenau is good. And we're back to a one score game, 24-21 in favor of Galen Catholic. A minute 44 to go in the first half. Rizea Sitzman into the half court. Screen to her right from Schrader. Right high post, bounces it right baseline. Haley Poland, kick out left high post. Larissa Poland drives into the cup, throws it up off glass, right side, no good. And the rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by Galen Catholic. It's MMCRU basketball. Minute 30 to go in the half. Royals can tie the game with a three. Down 24 to 21 as MMCRU tries to take it up the right sideline and then she is fouled at the half court stripe by Nevaeh Hudson. It's her second and Kylie Harpenau will shoot too and that is a foul that will make a coach's blood boil just simply because of the fact that uh, you're so far away from the hoop and it turns into free throws as well. Harpenau's first free throw is off the right side, no good. And we got a timeout call by Brandon Shecker, the head coach of the Jays. We'll take a timeout as well. 24-21, Galen leads. A minute 27 left in the half. We're back after this here on KLEM. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. This is Sammy Zurod, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside of the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com. Video streaming as well on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. A minute 27 to go before halftime, a 24 to 21. Galen Catholic lead over MMCRU as it'll be Kylie Harpenau shooting the second of her two free throws this trip to try and get the Royals within two points of Galen Catholic. Harpenau's free throw is off the front of the rim, no good. 0 for 2 at the line there for Harpenau. Bella Schrader, the rebound for Galen Catholic. Larissa Poland then has to pass out of the uh, double team in the backcourt and finds Haley Poland. Oh, she double dribbled, got away with it. Here comes Sitzman, top of the arc. Left high post, left corner kick out. Hudson gets an open look at left. Gets a switch, skip pass right side. Harpenau drives the right baseline, teardrop from 10, missed short, and the rebound. Flagged down by Bella Schrader, throws it out, Hudson, and here come the Jays with a run out. It's Sitzman left of the alley to the block, throws it high off glass and in for two. Jays go up 29 to 21, 34 seconds left to go in the half. Royals throw it up floor, Chloe Olish splits a double team, gets middle of the alley, right side lane to the block over Schrader with a right hand layup off the glass and in. Chloe Olish has five. 29-23, Galen Catholic, 19 seconds to go in the half, and Rizea Sitzman walks it up the floor for the Jays. Trying to end the first half on a high note is Rizea Sitzman. She drives to the free throw line, spins out, kicks it out to Poland, lobs it back door. Sitzman ends up tied up with the basketball with Chloe Olish. And age first half, 29-23, to your score after one half of play in favor of Galen Catholic and Puerto Conference girls basketball. We'll take a timeout. We come back, we'll have your first half coverage. Take a look at some of the scoring stats and get you ready for half number two. Again, the score, Galen Catholic 29, MMCRU 23. We're back with more of our Puerto Conference basketball coverage after this break here on KLEM Lamars. Because you deserve more with Kylie Petty, Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011 wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KyliePetty.com for your real estate needs. At Universal Windows Direct, you're not just purchasing windows, you're also getting peace of mind, knowing that their knowledgeable local staff is there for you every step of lifetime award to ensure that you're taken care of for years to come. Universal Windows Direct, which is all local, is the best of luck. Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. 
Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. State Farm agent Michael Crank is a proud supporter of local athletics. Whether you are looking for auto, home, or health insurance, choose the agent that will be on your side. State Farm agent Michael Crank. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumper tingle. And the blow dry is to die for it. Always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I uh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. Wall Street East of Hy-Vee. Lamar's. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546 5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546 5062. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546-7881. South Greenview Estate is a peaceful living space located across from Willow Creek Golf Course in Lamar's. Check out their 55-plus apartments. For a private showing, call 548-7424. For more details, check out their Facebook page, South Greenview Estates in Lamar's. This is Emerson Schmidt, and you're listening to Jake's Festival on KLEM. We walk you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you here on KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and video streaming as well on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. It's 29-23, Galen Catholic up on MMCRU here in Weigel Conference Girls Basketball. Both teams going for win number two in the Weigel Conference this year, and we're going to see who, who ends up with it. Both teams have put together some good fights. Each team has been able to go on some runs, and, uh, and ends up with Galen Catholic in front by six points. Galen Catholic shoots uh, even a third from the field, 11 of 33 from the field, 4 of 11 from downtown, 3 of 6 from the charity stripe. Jays are led in large part offensively by Rysea Sitzman. She's got 18 points. She's been doing it all for the uh, Jays, 7 of 13 from the field, 2 of 4 from the free throw line, and 2 of 5 from the three-point arc. It's eight points as well for Nevaeh Hudson. She's gotten some putbacks that haven't fallen, but she has hit a couple of threes already. Two points in there for Haley Poland, and then it's just one point at the free throw line for Larissa Poland. As Galen Catholic leads it 29 to 23. MMCRU, meanwhile, is seven of 23 from the field, two of seven from the three-point arc, and an even 50%, seven of 14 from the free throw line, led offensively by Kylie Harpenau with six points. It's five points each for Jaden Young and Chloe Olish. Three points for Tia Tenninger and two points apiece for Riley Groves and Gracie Schrader. So MMCRU has been able to get it close at times. They've gotten it within one score a few times. They've been able to kind of get some momentum going and then all of a sudden Galen Catholic picks it back up and then they get an eight or nine point lead and MMCRU gets back into it. It's, it's really been a swinging pendulum for lack of a better term. It's not, you know, back and forth, but it is just swing one way. It goes Galen's way. It started the start of the night Galen's way and then it swung back to MMCRU and then the Royals made it a two point game. Galen started the second quarter on a run. MMCRU got some momentum back, made it a one-score game. Then Galen finished the second quarter on a run to go up by six points. So it really has been a back-and-forth style of game, but not the back-and-forth of 
Uh, two points here, two points there. But, you know, it's it's more like eight points here, six points there, another five points here, and six points here. And it's it's kind of kind of going that way. When a team has the momentum, they have the momentum. And when a team doesn't, they are down for the count. It's going to be one of those kind of um, things. Who's going to be able to put the more consistent stretch of basketball together first? And whoever's going to be able to do that, I think, is going to end up ultimately on top here tonight as uh, it's a big Oracle Conference matchup, not in the grand scheme of who's going to win the conference, but for uh, who's going to who's gonna pick up win number two in the conference. Uh, you definitely don't want to say, oh, yeah, we only won one game in our 10-game conference schedule. You want to feel a little bit better about yourself heading into next year and heading into the postseason, so uh, that second win would be crucial for either one of these teams. And both teams are 1-7 in the conference, so uh, somebody's going to get their second win in the conference here tonight. We'll see. Was it going to be Galen Catholic? Are they going to be able to hold on to this lead? Will MMCRU stage a comeback? The Royals are doing some good things as far as going after rebounds. They are uh, all over the glass. Chloe Ollis needs to be on the floor all the time. And uh, whatever highlights you can clip from this game from Chloe Ollis, they are all going to be rebounding and they are all going to be RV. You are sure to find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be fifth wheel, travel trailer, and toy hauler models from Crossroads, Dutchman, and Coachman at Fetters Green and RV, where the road to adventure starts. For all of your commercial or residential concrete or construction needs, J-Max Construction is ready for you. At J-Max Construction, you can be sure that your project will be handled with great customer service as well as the best-in-class construction and concrete work. Call J-Max Construction and Concrete today at 540-0574. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Judy Hurt, your real estate agent. Home means to you. I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. MRK Insurance knows that teamwork is dream work. At MRK Insurance, you get a great partner for all of your insurance needs. Visit them today in Central Avenue in Lamar's for a no-obligation quote for all of your insurance needs. That's MRK Insurance in Lamar. more important than winning. Cruise and Cruise Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor of local athletics. For all of your custom awards and engraving needs, visit Plymouth Awards and Engraving at 130 4th Avenue Northeast in Lamars. You are sure to find that perfect gift for anyone at Plymouth Awards and Engraving. This is Haley Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We will be back inside the MMCRU High School Gym in Marcus for Warrigal Conference Girls Basketball. It's right here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM. It's KLEM Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and video streaming on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. And hopefully we've gotten some of those uh, technical bugs worked out with the uh, the video stream so that can get working smoothly throughout the rest of the night. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU 29-23 at the uh, halftime break. Really fun night of basketball so far. A couple of evenly matched teams. We talked about the pendulum kind of swinging back and forth and seven or eight point swings. It's not two points back and forth. It is six, seven, eight points at a time that uh, these teams are making runs on and uh, they are uh, you know, really kind of turning the momentum of the contest and um, really, really uh, leading to one team kind of running away with it for a little bit or, you know, keeping keeping it interesting there for quite a while. So it is 29-23. Again, the score, Galen Catholic leading MMCRU. Do, do want to mention, by the way, we've got our KLEM Coaches Corner coming up tomorrow morning as we do each and every Saturday throughout the football and basketball season. 8.05 start time. We'll have that for you right here on KLEM Radio where you are planned to be joined by the head coach of the Lars Community Girls Basketball, Sydney Baumgartner, Galen Catholic Girls Basketball head coach, Brandon Checker, and we're also going to track down uh, Greer Millage, the head coach of the Lars Community Girls Wrestling. Recap the Girls State Wrestling Tournament. Five Bulldogs made it to state and put up a nice fight and uh, got the program a little bit further than they did uh, last year, only making it 
to the first day of uh, competition. They were able to get to day number two here this year. So we will have those conversations for you coming up tomorrow morning at 8.05 on the KLAM Coaches Corner. Ready to start the uh, second half of play as Galen Catholic leads MMCRU by a score of 29 to 23. Here in Royal Conference Girls Basketball, second half just about ready to get underway. It's going to be Gatlin Catholic starting the second half with the basketball. As, of course, you're going to have uh, Larissa Poland, or Isaiah Sitzman, Nevaeh Hodson, Haley Poland, and Sammy Zubrod. Starters on the floor for the Jays, and the Royals will counter with their starters, minus Andrea Penning, and replace her with Chloe Olich. Haley Poland works off a pick from Zubrod, right side of the lane to the block, and throws it off glass and in for two. A nice pick-and-roll basket for Haley Poland. Jays up eight, 31-23, start of quarter number three. Royals break the press, throw it up the floor off a deflection. Kylie Harpin on right side lane gets rejected with a shot. Man, a foul is called against the blocker, Nevaeh Hodson. It's her third personal, team foul number one of the third quarter. Brandon Checker very, very surprised with the foul call. I don't necessarily blame him. Kylie Harpin on will shoot two. And the first is up and in. 31-24, Galen Catholic leads. Kylie Harpenau has now been to the free throw line nine times on her own. She is five of nine for the free throw line here tonight. Second free throw for Harpenau. It is up and good. 31-25, Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. 7.35 to play in the third. So both teams trade two points. Sitzman, right side wing. Subrod steps into a three ball and splashed it in. <laughs> What a shot from Sammy Zubrod. Brandon Checker, probably the most surprised coach in America after that shot. Here comes Riley Groves. Bounce across the lane. Left block to Harpenauer. Layup missed short. Long rebound thrown out of there. Sitzman dies for the loose ball. MMCRU comes up with it. Right side wing. Kennedy Tenninger, a three, comes up short. And the rebound is flagged down by Galen Catholic. Here come the Jays. Isaiah Sitzman, left high post, a behind the back dribble, and throws it right of the circles for Hodgson. She tees up a three ball, missed it short, and the rebound flagged down by MMCRU in the middle of some traffic. Then the Royals bring it up the floor and get fouled in the process by Haley Poland. Poland's third, team foul number two of this third quarter. It'll be MMCRU basketball. 34 to 25 in favor of of the Jays, 6.50 to go in quarter number three. MMCRU's trying to keep it a ball game here. Right corner pass, Tia Tenninger, pass deflected out by Nevaeh Hodson, and it'll stay with MMCRU. With 6.45 to go in this third quarter. Kennedy Tenninger will inbound here for the Royals. Baseline right of the hoop into the right corner for Tia Tenninger. She dribbles left all the way to the head of the circle and back to the left side for Kylie Harpenau. Harpenau bounces back to her right for Jaden Young. Skip pass all the way to the left corner. Tia Tenninger back out to Harpenau. Bounce pass, and it's kicked by Sitzman. Get a kick ball violation. Royals inbound and left wing. And the shot clock stays the same at 13. 6.30 to go in the third quarter. Shot clock at 13 seconds, so the Royals will have to work pretty quickly here. 34-25, inbound left corner. Young throws up a three. Didn't have to go that quickly. This one hits off the back of the backboard. Off a deflected shot. It was deflected by Galen Catholic, so the Royals are going to have another inbound, this time under the basket, and with 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Jaden Young to inbound, left corner. They reverse it out. Tia Tenninger, top of the key. Harpenau back to the right corner. Young, a catch and shoot three ball. Way too strong in the defensive rebound. Pulled down by Zubrod. Here come the Jays up by nine. Rizea sits into the half court. Stops at the top of the arc. Off the dribble three. Miss strong. And the long rebound is flagged down by Sitzman in the right corner. Nice recovery there from Rizea. Sitzman right corner. Zubrod. She moved her feet before putting the ball on the floor. A traveling violation. And it'll be MMCRU basketball. 6.04 left in quarter number three. 34-25. Galen Catholic leads in. Here comes MMCRU. Royals get it up the floor to Kylie Harpenau, back to Tenninger, and into the half court for Jaden Young. Young spins out of some traffic, guarded by Sitzman, working to her right, bounce over to the wing for Kylie Harpenau. And Harpenau settles up top, Kennedy Tenninger with it, dribbles free throw line, back right corner, driving the right baseline, and Harpenau is rejected by Nevaeh Hodson out of bounds. It'll stay 
with the Royals. Inbound will come baseline right of the hoop. 15 seconds on the shot clock here for MMCRU. Have to go somewhat quickly. Kennedy Tenninger will inbound, lob it up to the right wing. Jaden Young, shot fake, dribbles down to the right corner. Right baseline drive, kick out pass is recovered. Just inside the arc with a two, Chloe Olish misses short. And the rebound flagged down by the Jays and Rizea Sitzman. 34 to 25 in favor of Galen Catholic. 527 to play in the third quarter. Haley Poland. Backed out to Larissa Poland. Tia Tenninger deflects the pass. Larissa recovers in the half court. Bounces right elbow. Sammy Zubrod trying to work in the lane. Lobs it out up top. Haley Poland back to the right side. Larissa Poland. Shot clock's at 11. Poland to the right corner. Screen to her left from Zubrod. Larissa out to Haley. Left side wing for Sitzman. Shot clock's at 5. Rizea screen down to the left corner from Hodson. Gives it back to Nevea. Turn around left elbow jumper with a shot clock going off. Miss Strong. Oh, board from Sitzman. Goes back up and is fouled. What an offensive rebound from Rizea Sitzman. The foul on the putback committed by Kylie Harpenov, her second in team foul number one. And Rizea Sitzman will have a couple of free throws upcoming. Five minutes to go in the third, 34-25. Galen Catholic, Sitzman's first of two is in and out. Rizea Sitzman with a game high, 18 points. She has been doing it all offensively here for Galen Catholic. Second free throw here for Sitzman. It is up and Miss Strong. Long rebound, tracked out to the wing and Haley Poland flags it down for Galen. Marissa down to the paint. Zubrod face the basket, drives, kick out pass right corner. Long two for Nevea. Hodson was rejected out of bounds by Jaden Young. And it'll stay with Galen in the half court. 4.50 to go in the third, 34-25 in favor of Galen Catholic. Isaiah Sitzman will inbound, baseline right of the hoop. Looking, looking, lob, fakes the lob up top to Hodson. Can't find her kind of the basket. Zubrod hits the floor. Sitzman goes up top, and that ball is taken away by Tia Tenninger. Tenninger one on none to the hoop. Right hand scoop layup over her head is good. Tia Tenninger, the transition bucket, cuts it down to seven. 34-27 in favor of Galen Catholic. 4.37 to play in the third. Left corner pass, Hodson finds the cutting, Larissa Poland. Left block, dribbles to her right, bounce it right block. Sammy Zubrod off glass with a shot, missed short offensive board. Sitzman hook shot with the right hand. That one comes up short, and the rebound tracked down by MMCRU. Royals bring it up the floor, and that ball is deflected out of bounds by Zubrod. It'll stay with MMCRU. Jays bringing Grace Kellen, Emerson Schmidt, and Haley Lubin. Larissa Poland, Sammy Zubrod, and Haley Poland check out. 34-27 in favor of Galen Catholic. Royals inbound up top for Jaden Young. Works to her right, crosses back to her left. Young sets things up at the half-court circle. Jays the double team there, and Haley Lubin takes away the entry pass. Up to Sitzman running the floor with the left hand. Runner off glass is good for two. 20 points for Rizea Sitzman, 36-27. Galen Catholic, Royals break the press quickly. Tia Tenninger left of the lane, gets to the block, hesitates, backs out Kennedy Tenninger, steps to the arc, gets an open look at a three and missed it short, and the rebound with Haley Lubin this time. Jays throw it up floor and right into the hands of Gracie Schrader. Royals get it back, right block. Jane Young with the layup, missed it strong. Nevea Hodson with the rebound. And then she commits, or is fouled on the play. They get Jane Young for the foul, her first, and team foul number two of the third quarter. They're going to say she just get kind of tangled the arms with Hodson. Galen Catholic basketball, 344 to go in the third quarter, a 36-27 Jay advantage. Sitzman left wing, Emerson Schmidt, back up top, Grace Kellen. Kellen bounces left, Haley Lubin looks up top, finds Nevea Hodson, gets an open straightaway three and puts it in. Nevea Hodson's got three long balls tonight. She's got 11 points and it's 39-27. Galen leads it, their largest lead of the night now at a dozen. 3.20 to go in the third quarter. Jaden Young, middle of the floor, and a timeout called by Jillian Lecce, the head coach of the Royals. We'll take the timeout as well. Galen, their largest lead by a dozen here tonight. Got more basketball after this on KLEM Lamars. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. This is Rizea Sitzman, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you. The score. Dalen Catholic 39, MMCRU 27, and Wargo Conference Girls Basketball. 318 to go in the third quarter. Royals have the ball out of the second timeout called tonight by MMCRU head coach Jillian Lecce. Inbound quickly. Right wing three from Jaden Young's up and good. And if you're a Royal fan listening to the contest tonight, you hope that gets her started. 39-30 in favor of the Jays. That's just her second three of the contest. Nevaeh Hudson in the right corner, out to Haley Lubin, skips it left for Emerson Schmidt. Back to the left corner, Sitzman drives the left baseline, jump stop, throws it free throw line. Hudson works right, and over to Haley Lubin. Lubin pivots out of some trouble, drives inside the arc, and back out up top, Grace Kellen. Shot clock at 15, Hudson left wing, guarded by Chloe Olish, bounces top of the key, Isaiah Sitzman. Screen to her left, Sitzman off the dribble, fakes the three, shot clock's at five, give to Schmidt, give and go, left block, Sitzman backs down a defender, high off glass with the left hand, and the hook shot misses short, and the rebound is recorded by the Royals, then deflected out by Galen Catholic. Or no, they got a foul, excuse me, Haley Lubin committed a foul for Galen, her first, team foul number three, and Royals get the basketball back, 39-30, Galen Catholic, 2.30 left in the third, and here come the Royals with Jaden Young. Bounce pass, free throw line. Ollis trying to go back door for Tenninger and throws it just a little late behind her and out of bounds. And man, that's such a frustrating play for a coach because you want to commend them for doing something good, but it just doesn't turn into the outcome you wanted. So it's been right side hand, Emerson Schmidt. Pass up top, Haley Lubin. Looks to her left, finds Nevaeh Hodson, faces the basket. Trying to find somebody open. Hodson does find Lubin, left block, works around Tia Tenninger, hook shot in the middle of the lane, gets deflected out of bounds. Off the Royals, it'll stay with Galen Catholic. Brandon Checker wanted a foul, didn't get it. And now the Jays will inbound with Rizea Sitzman baseline left of the hoop. Shot clock doesn't reset, obviously, as the ball came nowhere close to hitting the rim. Sitzman inbounding, finds Nevea Hudson. No, that ball gets deflected away from Hudson by Olish into the hands of Gracie Schrader. Here come the Royals. Schrader backs it out, Jaden Young. And Young sets up the offense. Royals down nine, 39-30. Olish out to Tenninger, right corner feet. Open three from Tia Tenninger, missed off the heel. And we get a foul on the rebound. Going against Chloe Olish. I'm not sure I like that foul. Second personal team foul number three. Unless there was some hip, uh, lower body contact of some kind into the back of Emerson Schmidt going for the rebound. I thought she had the positioning perfectly and just had the height advantage. Larissa Poland over to Zubrod on left wing. Dribbles to the free throw line, goes right away into the block and through a double team, throws it off the glass. Got it to go and she was fouled. What a shot from Zubrod. Basket plus one more on the foul by Chloe Olish, her third personal, and team foul number four. Zubrod will shoot one and only one. The free throw is off the right side, no good. The rebound tracked down by Chloe Olish. Here comes MMCRU quickly, down by 11 now. Young left corner feed into the hands of Tenninger. Left elbow, floater off glass is good. Tia Tenninger from 12 feet out. And it's 41-32 in favor of MMC, or in favor of Galen Catholic. Emerson Schmidt down to the left high post. Sitzman backs down to defender middle of the lane. Down to the right baseline. Zubrod pull up eight footer. Miss Strong on the rebound with MMCRU. Royals start to run out the other way. Tenninger going cherry picking for the basket. Right hand layup off glass for two. Back to back possessions with a Tia Tenninger basket. Minutes ago in the third quarter. It's 41-34 in favor of Galen Catholic. 
And the Jays set up their offense, but then the ball's taken away by Jaden Young. Young tries to throw in the middle of the floor, and Gracie Schrader comes up with it. Schrader, left corner kick out. Tia Tenninger gets downhill. Left baseline runner from the left block. Spins around and in. It's six straight points here for MMCRU and Tia Tenninger. And now a foul going after the deflected pass. And they get Rizea Sitzman for a foul for Galen Catholic. MMCRU deflected the inbound pass. Sitzman then fouled the Royal defender going after the loose ball. Second personal, team's fourth. Royals get another possession down by five. They've scored six in a row, though. Inbound right corner, Young, turnaround three ball. It's too strong, and the rebound pulled down by the Royals. Bounced out, Tia Tenninger, left wing three ball. You betcha! Tia Tenninger has scored nine consecutive points. It's 41-39, Jays on top still, but the Royals are back in it. Here comes Sitzman, crossover dribble, gets right lane, high post, bounce it out, Haley Poland, right side wing for Sitzman. Sitzman asks for some ISO, 10 seconds to go in the third. Now she passes back out to Haley Poland. Poland to the free throw line, lost the dribble, tied up for the loose ball, it'll be a jump ball, possession to MMCRU with six seconds to go in the third quarter. Well, I'm no coach. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I would know where Tia Tenninger is right now. Inbound to Jaden Young. She's got five seconds left in the third. Throws it up to Lana Florine. Half court heave with a buzzer going off. Missed wide left. And your score after three quarters of play, 41-39. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. And we've got a ball game. We'll come back with the fourth quarter after this here on KLEM. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of High V and Lamar's. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. This is Nevaeh Hodson and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Back inside the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus, Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's. Online audio at KLEM1410.com with a video stream on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. It's 41-39. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. Royals scored nine and answered to end the third quarter. I should say Tia Tenninger scored nine and answered. Larissa Poland stepped back three from the top of the arc. Missed strong and then going after the rebound. A hard deflection out of bounds off of MMCRU last. We'll keep the ball in Galen's favor in the half court. Nine consecutive points for Tia Tenninger and MMCRU. Was able to cut this from, at that point, an 11-point game down to a two-point game. It was a 12-point lead at one point for Kalen Catholic. Hodson, handoff at the top. Sitzman, a step back. Straightaway three comes up short. And the rebound, flagged down by Zubrot. Lobs it down to the right block. Nevaeh Hodson off glass. It spins out of the rebound. Tapped out top of the key. Controlled by Tia Tenninger. Here she goes uncontested. Right-hand runner, short. Offensive put back. Olish doesn't go. And Sitzman flags down the rebound that time. And here comes Rizea Sitzman now into the half court. Middle of the lane, throws up a shot off contact. Missed it short, got her own board, puts it up strong again. And then a fight for the rebound results in a foul against Galen Catholic. Foul, they got, the foul. They got Sammy Zubrod for her third. Team foul number one of the fourth quarter. So after all of that back and forth, it remains a 41 to 39. Galen leads, 7.21 to play in regulation. Royals inbound to Tia Tenninger. And she scored nine unanswered points by herself to end the third quarter. Here comes Lana Florine, long outlet pass. Tenninger to the left corner, trying to push off Hodgson and is able to get some space, then had to throw it out. And a timeout call before she turned the basketball over by Jillian Lecce. Timeout on the floor, 7.09 to play. Jays by two, we're back after this on KLEM. 
Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. This is Coach Shucker, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back here to the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Radio, online audio at KLEM1410.com with a video stream on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. It's 41-39 in favor of Galen Catholic, 709 to play. In regulation, Royals have the basketball out of the timeout. Working right of the lane is Jaden Young. Step back in the right corner. Throws it out up top. A three ball from Florine gives the Royals the lead. Lana Florine gives the Royals a one-point lead on a 12-0 run here for MMCRU. It's now 42-41 Royals. 6.46 to go in the game. Haley pulling off a screen at the top of the arc. Out to Sitzman. Works to the head of the key and backs it out to the volleyball line. Bounce pass right elbow for Hudson. That ball is deflected by Tenninger. Kylie Harpin off of the loose ball. And then she is fouled in transition by Nevaeh Hodson. It's Hodson's fourth. Team foul number two of the fourth quarter. And it'll be MMCRU basketball, 42-41. Royals have scored 12 unanswered points. Here was 6.33 to play in regulation. Jaden Young, right side wing, guarded by Larissa Poland. Drives the right baseline and gets cut off and fouled on the play by Poland. <laughs> Brandon Shecker not in agreement again. It's Larissa Poland's first, team foul number three. And so it'll be MMCRU inbounding, baseline right of the hoop from Kylie Harpenau. One point Royal lead, can they extend it here with a made basket? Harpenau inbound, right block, Jaden Young has to back it out somewhere after picking up her dribble, right corner kick out, Harpenau dribbles left, up top to Tenninger, left side Florine. she tries the left baseline, Lana Florine guarded by Haley Poland, out to Alish, left corner, back to Florine. left high post, out to the right wing, right corner, Jaden Young gets an open three ball, missed it off the front of the rim, rebound Chloe Alish on the left block and then she loses it out of bounds. It'll be Galen Catholic basketball. The Jays dodge a big bullet there. Gave up a second chance look, but then the Royals turned it over. Here comes Rizea Sitzman now. 42-41 MMCRU, six minutes to play. Hudson's pass at the top of the key. Taken away by Tia Tenninger. One on none, uncontested layup of the right hand is good. It is a 14-0 run for MMCRU. They're up 44-41. Sitzman, crossover dribble to the right, spin move in the lane, tough eight foot pull up, a left hand is good, and that breaks the scoreless drought for Galen Catholic. 44 43, MMCRU, 535 to play in the contest. Royals bring it up, Jaden Young into the half court, right side of the circles for Kylie Harpenau. She dribbles to the arc, right corner feed, Tenninger steps into a right corner three, air ball strong, oh board, backside from Chloe Alish, and she lays it in with a right hand. Chloe Alish. With a layup, 46-43, MMCRU, 5-12 to go in the game. Right side wing, Haley Poland dribbles to her left to the top of the arc. Left side, Sammy Zubrod gets downhill. Middle of the floor in her pockets, pick. Then she picks up the loose ball, right block, up with a hook shot off glass. It doesn't go. She fights for the rebound, bounces it over to Poland, puts up a jumper, and that one gets rejected by Lana Florine. And then Tia Tenninger gets fouled in transition by Haley Poland. That's Haley Poland's fourth personal. Team foul number four for Galen Catholic. Well, the Royals have stayed out of foul trouble. Galen Catholic has been fouling up a storm here. 4.52 to play in the game. 46-43 MMCRU. Royals can get a two-score lead here. They go down to Harpenau, right corner. Back out right wing. Young back to Harpenau. Right baseline, short corner. Out to the right wing. Young dribbles to the top of the arc. Left side wing. Kennedy Tenninger, left corner. Tia Tenninger chucks up the three and dribbles it. Tia Tenninger's gone unconscious. She had three points in the first half. She's got 16 points here in the second half and a timeout for Brandon Shecker. 4.27 to play. It's the Tia Tenninger show in Marcus. 49-43 in favor of MMCRU. Back after this on KLEM. 
being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. This is Larissa Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We're back inside the MMCRU High School Gym in Marcus where Tia Tenninger has taken over this game for the Royals. She scored 16 points and she's missed just three of her 10 field goals to do it. She's seven of 10 from the field here in the second half with 16 points in this second half of play. It's 49-43 MMCRU, 422 to play in the game. Here's Nevaeh Hudson, a skip pass up top of the key for Sammy Zubrod, looking to her left, pivots back to her right, and drives right of the alley to the high post, bounces it out, Sitzman gets middle of the lane, splits a double team with the left hand and scores it off the glass. For Isaiah Sitzman with a much needed basket, she's got 24, 49-45 MMCRU, four minutes to go. Pass across the floor, is picked up by Jaden Young, bounced up to Kylie Harpin on the left wing. Jays better know where number one is right now. Jaden Young, top of the key. It's Tia Tenninger, who's got the basketball right corner, head fakes a three, drives downhill, middle of the alley, and she carried it. She carried the dribble, got underneath it for just a second. And when she put it back on the floor, she had turned the basketball over. It will be Galen Catholic ball, 3.48 to play, and a 49-45 Royal advantage. Rizea sits into the half court, works right to the high post, steps back beyond the arc, top of the key, Grace Kellen. Kellen guarded tightly by Jane Young. Kellen gets downhill right lane to the block. Scoop shot is up and missed, but she was fouled. And Grace Kellen will shoot two. Jaden Young picks up her second. And team foul number one of the fourth quarter. And a really good job of the Royals keeping their hands clean. Of course, that will be a problem if they get down in this contest and then have to force free throws. Grace Kellen's first free throws off the right side of the rim and no good. Second free throw upcoming here for Grace Kellen with 3.37 to play. After a couple of dribbles, Kellen's shot is up and in. One for two at the line for Grace Kellen. 49-46 MMCRU. 3.37 to play. Royals get the inbound to Jaden Young. Jays guard them in the full court. Over to Kennedy Tenninger. Back to Young. Back to Tenninger. Takes it up the right sideline. Now into the half court. Pass to the right corner. Ends up in the hands of Tia Tenninger. She dribbles to her left. Gets an open three right of the circle. Takes it. Missed it strong. And the rebound tracked out to Isaiah Sitzman. She starts the run out the other way. Sitzman bounce pass. Left block. It's intercepted by Tenninger. Crossover to Bea Hodson. Trying to go the other way. Bounce pass right of the alley. Kennedy Tenninger. Pull up 10 footer. Too strong. And the rebound gets loose. Out of bounds. Last touched by the Jays. And it'll stay with MMCRU. 49-46, Royals lead, 3.09 to play in this contest. Royals will inbound with Kennedy Tenninger into the right corner for Jaden Young. Young looks right, finds Kylie Harpin, a wide open three ball in and out of the rebound for Nevaeh Hodson. Boy, that thing got halfway down, didn't want to fall. Here comes Rysaia Sitzman. Jays are only down three now. Top of the arc off the dribble. Pass right wing, Grace Kellen trying to find Sitzman cutting down the right side of the lane, and that ball... Gets touched out of bounds last by Kylie Harpenon. It'll stay with the Jays. 2.50 to go in regulation. 49-46 MMCRU lead. Jays inbound right corner. Larissa Poland trying to get Sitzman free. The double pin down pick at the top of the arc. Poland out to Sitzman. Head fakes a deep three. Works to her right. Spins out of trouble. Lobs it left corner. Larissa Poland drives left baseline. Feeds middle of the lane. Zubrod puts it on the floor. And off the foot of a Royal defender. It's picked up by Jaden Young. Long outlet pass. Tia Tenninger on the right wing. And the Royals are going to slow it down. Pass right corner. Kylie Harpin on 2.30 to go. MMCRU can use a lot of the shot clock here. Now up three. 49-46, Royals, Chloe Alish, turn around, right elbow jumper, that one's in and out, and the defensive rebound for Grace Kellen. So many good looks for the Royals, not falling and out, Tia Tenninger deflects the dribble away from Grace Kellen, the left-handed layup in transition, missed. Jays then turn it over again to the backcourt, no, Grace Kellen picks it up, and Galen Catholic brings it back, timeout, Brandon Shecker and the Jays. 
203 to play, 49-46 MMCRU. It's Galen Catholic basketball when we come back on KLEM. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pea's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and, of course, Pea's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pea's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. This is Sammy Zubrod, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. 2.03 to play in regulation. 49-46 in favor of MMCRU. Jays have been slowly but surely chipping away. It was a six-point lead, 49-43. Now it's down to a three-point game. Galen Catholic with the basketball out of their third charge timeout of the contest. Sitzman dribbles top of the key over to the right side wing for Nevaeh Hudson. Back up top, Grace Kellen looking for an outlet. Dribbles to her right, and she's fouled on the floor by Jaden Young. That's going to reset the shot clock as well. The foul is Young's third. Team foul number two of the fourth quarter. And Galen will inbound on the right wing. Minute 53 to go in the game, 49-46 MMCRU. Grace Callen bounces left side wing, Sammy Zubrod. Bounced it out up top, Sitzman dribbles to the arc, between the legs dribble trying to get free. Good tight defense from Harpenau, spins out of it. Left side wing, Hodson thought about the three ball, looking for a handoff, finds Sitzman, curling middle of the floor, runs into the defender and she traveled. She tried to slide out of the contact and traveled with the basketball, the MMCRU taking over. Leading by three with a minute 37 to go in the game. Haley Poland's in. Sammy Zubrod checks out for Galen. MMCRU keeps their same lineup. Get into Jaden Young, and now she's got to bring it up the floor. Young back to Kennedy Tenninger. Up to Kylie Harpenau. Back to Tenninger. Back to Young. And Jaden Young is the one who enters the half court here for the Royals. Just in the nick of time. Dribbling top of the arc and a bounce pass to Kennedy Tenninger. Tenninger looking out. Top of the key, Young. Right side, Kylie Harpenau. Back up top. And Sitzman deflected the pass. And then could not get after the ball. She got hit in the face on the uh, recovery. Young, top of the arc, Alish. Right side wing for Florine. Shot clock's at five. Florine, right baseline. Tries to dribble out. Pass up top. Chloe Alish over to Young. Throws up a three with a shot clock expiring. It rims in and out. The, that was still a live ball. And Grace Kellen picks up the rebound. Here come the Jays. Down three. Kellen left side wing. 52 seconds to go. Kellen sees a lane. Left high post. Pivots. Finds Sitzman kind of the hoop with a left hand. Lays it off glass and in. It's a one point game. 49-48 Royals, 42 seconds to go in the contest. Do the Jays foul? That's a conversation to have. Need a takeaway, and they get it. Rysaia sits into the cup with the left hand, lays it off glass. Jays have the lead, 50-49 to the score. 28 seconds to go, shot clock's off. Here comes Jaden Young, runs over the defender, and a blocking foul against Haley Poland. And that's her fifth. That's five personal fouls against Haley Poland. Team foul number five. And two free throws are coming here for Jaden Young. If she makes them both, the Royals will be on top. 50 to 49 in favor of MMCRU. 25 and a half seconds to go in the game. Got to get Haley Poland off the floor here. Galen's got to make a substitution for her. With five fouls, Haley Poland needs a substitution. And Sammy Zubrod will be in for her. Sammy's not in much better foul shape with three. 25 and a half seconds to go, 50 to 49. Galen Catholic leads. Jaden Young with two shots for the Royals. Needs both to give them the lead. Young's first free throw up and strong, no good. So the best she can do is tie this game at 50. 65% free throw shooter on the year. Young's second free throw of the trip. It is up. That's good, and we're tied at 50. Tied at 50. Jaden Young gets the second of the two free throws, and now Rysaia Sitzman brings it up. 20 seconds to go. Here's Rysaia at the half-court circle. Who's going to have the magic here late? Be the Jays or the Royals? Sitzman will dribble it out. 13 seconds to go in the game. 10 seconds to go in the game. No timeout called here. Off the screen. Hodson over to Sitzman. Left side of the lane to the block. Floats it off glass. In and out. No good. Rebound for Florine. And she's fouled on the rebound by Sitzman. 
Lana Florine fouled by Rizea Sitzman, her third, and that'll put Florine on the line to shoot two. With three seconds to go in the game, tied at 50, and now Lana Florine, who before this week had not attempted a free throw all season, will shoot two, needing one to give them the lead. Florine with the first of two free throws on this trip. It is up and in, and how we remain tied. Tied at 50, and Brandon Shecker wants a timeout. The head coach of the Jays with three and a tenth of a second to go. We're tied at 50. One free throw for the Royals when we come back on KLEM. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. This is Emerson Schmidt, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We want to be back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio found on our website at KLEM1410.com. The score tied at 50. Three seconds to go. Lana Florine has one free throw to give the Royals the lead late. She missed the first. Her second is up. It's strong. Rebound controlled by Nevea Hudson. She throws it up floor, and there won't be any time left. And we are going to overtime here in Marcus. 50 to 50, the score in regulation. We'll come back and we'll put four minutes on the clock. We've got free basketball right out the get-go when we come back on KLEM. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for it. Always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spot treatment today. 12th Street East of High V Lamar's. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. This is Haley Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Fastball on KLEM. Well, 32 minutes of regulation is uh, not enough here tonight. MMCRU and Galen Catholic tied at 50. We'll play another four minutes of action. Each coach is awarded one more timeout, and we are ready to go with the overtime period. This is the second game in a row that we've broadcasted that's gone to overtime. Monday night, the boys, Galen Catholic and Hinton, went to OT. We'll go to Ho OT here tonight, and the girls. MMCRU wins the opening tap, and they... Wait a minute. They're going to redo the tip? What's the call? Are they going to redo the tap, or are they going to? They're going to give it to Galen Catholic. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure exactly whether that's a foul or what the deal is, but they give the ball to the Jays here to start this contest in overtime. Here's Sitzman. Right side wing. Steps to the arc. Spins out of trouble at the free throw line. Left corner feed. Nevaeh Hudson, a three ball up and strong, and the rebound with Lana Florine. Florine on the back side with a rebound. Here comes MMCRU and Jaden Young. Tied at 50 here in the overtime period. Over to the right side wing, it's Kylie Harpenoff. Looking left, dribbles to her right. 3.30 to play in overtime. Harpenoff skips a pass left corner into the hands of Tia Tenninger. Dribbles right, middle of the lane, lobs it up, and that shot misses short. Nice defense in the post from Nevea Hodson. And here comes Galen Catholic, Sitzman. Left of the circles, settles it out between the circles. 
Sitzman, right side wing into the hands of, Nevea, of Samantha Zubrod. Top of the key now for Kellen. Rounds the pass, right side wing. Sitzman gets open for a three, takes it, missed it strong, and the rebound out of bounds off the Jays. And it'll be MMCRU ball. Still tied at 50 in the overtime period. 3.03 to play in the extra frame. Jaden Young walks it up the floor for the Royals. Bounces cross court to Atlanta Florine. Florine in the half court. Bounce pass right wing, Kylie Harpenau. Right corner. Now stuck after picking up her dribble. Gives it off to Florine in the right corner. She was the hero at West Sioux earlier this year. Harpenau, top of the key, Young. Not a whole lot of movement on this offensive possession. Kind of stale for the Royals. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Right elbow. Alish throws it out. Young, top of the key. Head fakes. Works left elbow. 16-foot pull up. Missed short off the front of the rim. And the rebound for Sammy Zubrod. Now the Jays bring it back. We're still tied at 50. Grace Callen right lane to the block. Runs into the defender. And a blocking foul on the shot. We'll put Grace Callen on the line to shoot two. Kylie Harpenau with her third. Team foul number three of the fourth quarter slash overtime. Again, fouls carry over, so the Royals are still in the bonus. Galen's still at the limit team foul-wise. Kellen's first free throw is good, and that's the first point of the overtime period. 51 to 50, Galen Catholic leads him MCRU in overtime. Second free throw for Kellen's good. A perfect trip to the line for Grace Kellen. It's 52 to 50, Jays lead, 224 left in OT. Royals work it up the floor with Florine. Double team trap in the backcourt. Florine bounced it over to Young, and Young gets into the half court in time, avoiding a 10 second call. Young, right of the circles, bounces free throw line. Alish, turn around 15 footer. That's strong. And the rebound for Larissa Poland. And then Poland is fouled in the backcourt on the rebound. That's going to be Kylie Harpenau again, and that's her fourth. Team's fourth, so the Royals are one foul away from putting the Jays on the line. 52 to 50, Galen leads, two minutes to go in overtime. Isaiah Sitzman pass left corner, Nevea Hudson with it, Alish tried to jump it, top of the key, Callen bounces right side, Zubrod, looking for a cutter, finds Nevea Hudson top of the key. Shot clock is at 15, Hudson skips it right for Sitzman. Now she tees up a three off the jab step, missed it strong, long rebound left corner, it's controlled by Callen, but she couldn't stay in bounds. The rebound is out of bounds off the Jays. It's MMCRU ball. Minute 42 to play in overtime. 52 to 50 in favor of the Jays. Royals take it up. It's Young. Bounce it up to Harpenau. Right side wing. Picked up now by Larissa Poland. And out to Young. Minute 30 to go in the game. 52 to 50. Bounce right corner. Down to the right block. And Amelia Hodson fouled Chloe Alish from behind. That is Hodson's fifth. So she is the latest J to foul out with five fouls. Two free throws for Chloe Alish, five fouls for Nevaeh Hodson, and now Brandon Shecker talking with his assistant Brian Kolbeck about what the play is next with two players fouling out tonight. Haley Lubin is going to be the chosen one off the bench here for the Jays, subbing in for Nevaeh Hodson. A bit of a smaller lineup now for Galen. Sammy Zubrod's got to be the five now. She normally plays the four with Hodson down to the post. Two free throws coming, and the first from Alish is short. It's no good. And Alish cannot tie the game with her second. She can cut it to one, though. 52 to 50. MMCRU down. Alish second free throw. It's too strong as well. Rebound tapped and controlled by Young. Royals get another look. Young right baseline. Kick out free throw line. Florine's jumper's good. We're tied. Lana Florine. Ice in her veins. It's 52 apiece. Minute 16 to go in OT. Here comes Sitzman. Top of the arc. Behind the back dribble. There's help defense if Harpenau needs it. Sitzman left side wing. Pass up top. Kellen. Kellen looking. Dribbles to her right. And bounce it off for Sammy Zubrod. Right wing beyond the arc, a minute to go in overtime. Haley Lubin, right corner, Grace Callen, looking for Sitzman, can't find her. Finds Larissa Poland, right side wing, spins out of trouble. Shot clock's at 10, tied at 52. Poland, right elbow, 15-footer, comes up short. And the rebound controlled by Jaden Young. Royals with the ball, and she's fouled in the backcourt by Galen Catholic. Young fouled by Larissa Poland. They get Larissa Poland for her second. And Jaden Young will shoot two. Scores tied at 52 in overtime. 45 seconds to play in the extra period. Young to shoot two for the Royals. Got to get these. Her first. It's short. Oh, my goodness. Free throws are coming at a premium. 
The Royals are three of nine of the free throw line in the second half. The second of the trip here for Young. It's up, it's good. The Royals hit one and a timeout called by Jillian Lecce with 45 seconds to go in OT. 53-52 MMCRU leads. We're back with more of our girls basketball coverage after this on KLEM. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS.net to learn more. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamar's supports our local student athletes, trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC, located at 38 First Avenue, Northwest Lamar's, Iowa. This is Rizaya Sitzman, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We walk you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus. Daniel Versteck with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio, KLEM1410.com. Video streaming on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. It's overtime, 45 seconds to play in the extra period. And MMCRU leads Galen Catholic 53-52 here in OT. Jays have the inbound and they bring it up the length of the floor with Larissa Poland. Poland dribbles into the half court. Screen to her left from Sammy Zubra. They don't switch. Nice job working through it from Tia Tenninger. Now a switch. Poland left side wing. Lubin a three ball. It's good. Jays lead by two. Haley Lubin from the left wing. Now the Royals work quickly. Down two. 26 seconds to go. Young left high post. Trying to back it out for Florine. Top of the circle. Harpin off. Right wing kick out. Olish head fakes. Right baseline. Drive to the block. Lays it off glass. And got it with a foul. Chloe Olish, basket plus one more. Sammy Zubrod, the foul. That's going to be her fourth. And Olish has tied the game with a free throw upcoming. 55 55, 18 seconds to go. But now they got to hit the free throw. And that has been a tough thing to do. Olish and one free throw. It's up. It's in. Royals lead 56 55. And now Galen Catholic with 16 seconds to go. Brings it up with Sitzman. Timeout, Brandon Shecker. 15 seconds to go. 56-55. MMCRU leads. We're back with more high school basketball here in overtime after this on KLEM. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products and they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. This is Nevaeh Hodson, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We walk you back to Marcus here at the MMCRU High School Gym. Daniel Versteg with you with 14.7 seconds to go in overtime. It's 56-55. MMCRU leads Galen Catholic. A Haley Lubin three gave the Jays a two-point lead. Then a Chloe Olish basket with foul and free throw gave the Royals the one-point lead back. Jays have the ball. Galen does have one timeout still to use. And now MMCRU is going to call the timeout. They're going to call a timeout here to talk things over ahead of the inbound play with 15 seconds to go. So we will take the timeout, and we'll be back with more of our overtime coverage after this here on KLEM. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. 
Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. When it comes to service, your Lamar's Hy-Vee is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. This is Coach Shucker, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. Back to Marcus. Both teams have used a timeout ahead of this inbound play. 14.7 seconds to go in overtime. It is 56-55. MMCRU girls lead Caitlin Catholic. Jays had the ball at the half-court stripe of the inbound from Larissa Polin. It is overtime. It's a one-point Royal lead. Jays with it. Polin looking to inbound. Finds Grace Kellen in the backcourt. And Kellen starts bringing it up. Guarded by Florine. Oh, a dangerous handoff. And they're going to call a backcourt violation. Larissa Polin was not in the half court when she touched the ball. So now the Royals need a steal or foul. Steal first, foul second. They get in to Tia Tenninger. Throws it up floor for Harpenau. Kylie Harpenau gets by the defender. Five seconds to go. Top of the key, Young. Royals play keep away. Two seconds to go. And a foul is called as Sitzman runs into Tia Tenninger. One and a half seconds to go. Sitzman with her fourth. An excellent job by the Royals of playing keep away to avoid the foul. One and a half seconds to go. 56-55 MMCRU. Tia Tenninger will shoot two to try and make things really tough for the Jays. Tenninger's first, it is strong, no good. And a timeout from Brandon Shecker. He has used his allotment of timeouts. We'll step aside with the Jays. Be back with more basketball after this on KLEM. Hi, sports fans. This is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar's. We're happy to have a huge selection of what you need to efficiently maintain your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar's. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Hi, this is Misty Zach. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at ExitRealtyMidwest.com. This is Larissa Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We walk you back to Marcus. One and a half seconds to go in this overtime. 56-55 MMCRU. The second free throw there for Tia Tenninger misses strong. A rebound for Grace Kellen, throws it up four, and it won't matter. Royals hang on to win it in overtime. The Royals win it in the extra frame, 56 to 50. The final score here tonight in Marcus. What a game. It took an extra period, but the Royals come away with a win. Improved to five and 12, two and seven in the War Eagle Conference. Galen Catholic drops to 2-18, and 1-8 and eight in War Eagle Conference play. What a ball game. Hats off to both teams. They put on a show here tonight and for good measure decided to play an extra overtime period for us. The final score here tonight, MMCRU 56, Galen Catholic 55 here in Marcus. We will take a break, come back. We've got our post-game coverage for you. We will take a look at the stats from this contest and get you a uh, recap of the ball game. We're also, I think, going to try and chat with the head coach of Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. That'd be Coach Brandon Shecker in our postgame coverage as well. The final score, MMCRU 56, Galen Catholic 55 in overtime. We're back with our postgame coverage from Marcus after this here on KLEM Lamars. Sue Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Sue Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. Sue Glass! Get more because you deserve more with Kylie Petty's Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011. 
wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KiliePetty.com for your real estate needs. At Universal Windows Direct, you're not just purchasing windows. You're also getting peace of mind, knowing that their knowledgeable local staff is there for you every step of the way. You receive quality Unishield products along with a limited lifetime warranty to ensure that you're taken care of for years to come. Universal Windows Direct wishes all local athletes the best of luck. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of High V and Lamar's. State Farm agent Michael Crank is a proud supporter of local athletics. Whether you are looking for auto, home, or health insurance, choose the agent that will be on your side. State Farm agent Michael Crank. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546 5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 546-5062. Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate Team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate Team today at 546-7881. This is Sammy Zubrod, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. And we welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gymnasium here in Marcus for our post-game basketball coverage tonight as MMCRU wins an overtime thriller. It was a thriller of the Galen Catholic Jays by the final score of 56 to 55. That improves the Royals' record to five and 12 on the season. Meanwhile, the Royal Royal Conference record also now sits at two and seven on the year. Galen Catholic drops to two and 18. They are now one and eight here in the Weigel Conference this season. What a ball game. It was a uh, just a hard fight game by both teams. Uh, struggled with turnovers and rebounding the ball cleanly and all those kind of things. But at the end of the day, it was MMCRU coming away with a one point victory, 56 to 55 over Galen Catholic. So the Royals, uh, after struggling all week last week, uh, or this week, I should say, three losses in four days, they are able to pick up a win in overtime, their second Royal Conference victory of the year, 56-55 in overtime. Coming up in our post-game coverage, we are going to uh, run down some of the numbers for you, give you a recap of the contest. We'll also try and track down the uh, head coach of Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. That'd be Coach... Brandon Checker and get uh, his thoughts on the contest here tonight. First, uh, the numbers for Galen Catholic. They shoot 20 of 61 from the field, 7 of 21 from the three-point arc, and 6 of 13 from the charity stripe. Isaiah Sitzman had 28 points. She took a ton of shots here tonight, at least 25, if not more. I'm, I'm trying to add it up in my head here. Uh, 25 shots to get to 28 points. Not the best percentage, but 
uh, when that's what the game calls for, and when you play four extra minutes, you kind of need it. And uh, she was able to give it here for Galen Catholic tonight. Also in double figures, it was Nevaeh Hodson who had 11 points. She made three three-point field goals. It was then uh, kind of dropped off from there for the uh, for the Jays. It was Haley Poland who had four points, three points apiece for Grace Kellen and Haley Lubin, as well as Sammy Zubrod who hit a long ball. And then just one point for Larissa Poland at the free throw line. Jays just, I don't know what happened there, especially to end the third quarter. Uh, uh, MMCRU got things really put together well and uh, just evidently went on a run there and, well, it did not say die at the end, and the Royals had enough to get the lead and keep the lead throughout the uh, contest. MMCRU goes 19 of 59 from the field, 6 of 23 from the three-point arc, and 12 of 27 from the charity stripe. The Royals were led offensively by Tia Tenninger with 19 points. It was 10 points each for Jaden Young and Chloe Ollis here tonight. Eight points for Kylie Harpenau. She got six of those at the free throw line on six of 10 from the charity stripe. Five points in there for Lana Florine. And then it was just two points each for Riley Groves and Gracie Schrader. So the Royals who rebounded the ball well. I loved seeing Chloe Ollis rebound the basketball here tonight. She was everywhere on the glass. She gets rewarded with 10 points, a lot of second chance points. She had the hero basket. She had the basket plus the foul to win the ball game ultimately for MMCRU. Her free throw was enough to seal the deal and give the Royals the 56-55 win in overtime. So the Royals sweep the season series with Galen Catholic, beat them all the way back on December 1st. And uh, now they've beaten them here tonight on senior night as well. That's what some of the background noise you might be hearing is. Uh, it is the announcement of the uh, senior class of uh, basketball players. Of course, MMCRU's got the archery club here as well. I think they're going to have some uh, cheerleaders and things like that. Uh, again, the final score, 56-55. MMCRU takes down Galen Catholic here in Warrigal Conference Girls Basketball and improves to 5-12 and 12 on the year, 2-7. and seven. In the Wargo Conference, Galen Catholic dropping to 2-18 and 1-7 and and in conference play. We will take a break. We will continue our post-game coverage in just a little bit. Hopefully chatting with Brandon Shecker, head coach of Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, you're listening to Wargo Conference Girls Basketball on KLEM Radio. South Greenview Estates is a peaceful living space located across from Willow Creek Golf Course in Lamars. Check out their 55-plus apartments. For a private showing, call 548-7424. For more details, check out their Facebook page, South Greenview Estates in Lamars. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Klein Insulation could provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540-5691. That's 540-5691. At Fetters Marine and RV, you are sure to find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be fifth wheel, travel trailer, and toy hauler models from Crossroads, Dutchman, and Coachman. At Fetters Marine and RV, where the road to adventure starts. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pease Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and, of course, Pease Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pease Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. For all of your commercial or residential concrete or construction needs, J-Max Construction is ready for you. At J-Max Construction, you can be sure that your project will be handled with great customer service as well as the best of class construction and concrete work. Call J-Max Construction and Concrete today at 540-0574. MRK Insurance knows that teamwork is dream work. 
At MRK Insurance, you get a great partner for all of your insurance needs. Visit them today on Central Avenue in Lamar's for a no-obligation quote for all of your insurance needs. That's MRK Insurance in Lamar's. Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your local source for Scott's Lawn Products, top-performing Kent Feed Products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed, and outstanding service. The Lamar's Agri-Center, your source for everything that grows. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student-athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's, Dr. Becky DeRider. This is Emerson Schmidt, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus, where the Royals defeat Galen Catholic by the final score of 56-55. Here in overtime, it was quite the ball game, and uh, the Royals were able to come out on top. They improved 5-12 and on the year, 2-7 and seven in Royal Conference play. The Royals will be hosting Grettinger Terrell Ruth Van Ayrshire on Monday and will be at George Little Rock on Tuesday to wind down the regular season. Just two more games here for MMCRU, and then they will play at Lawton Bronson in the regional opening round on Saturday the 10th. That'll be a 7 o'clock tip-off and uh, should be a good contest. Uh, I was at the game uh, here. They had a three, uh, MMCRU had a three to try and tie it, but it just did not go in uh, back on December 21st. And uh, Lawton Bronson ended up winning that ball game, but it was one missed shot uh, from, from uh, dying the ball game up. So that should be a great regional uh, opening round contest. I believe the winner's gonna get uh, Hinton in that one. Yep, it'll be Hinton, uh, the, the recipient of the winner of that contest. So. Uh, should be some great postseason basketball still to come. Galen Catholic, of course, just one more regular season game. They've got West Sioux and Haywarden coming up on Tuesday night, the 6th. Then they will be at Harris Lake Park on Thursday night at 7 o'clock in the regional postseason tournament. It'll be the opening round of the regional tournament. Of course, the winner of the Galen HLP contest will get the winner, or uh, will get George Little Rock on Tuesday the 13th. That is uh, set in stone because, of course, George Little Rock gets the bye in the opening round of the region, ranked as number 15 in Class 1A. They do not have to play the opening round matchup in the girls' regional basketball tournament. Again, the final score here uh, tonight, it was MMCRU 56, Gatlin Catholic 55 in the overtime period. Really fun game of basketball, really well played by both teams. And uh, should be a uh, should be a fun boys game. We'll get that going here once the senior night festivities are concluded. And uh, fortunately, it's looking like it could be about a about an 8:30 start time with the overtime and all the senior night stuff that's going on. Uh, that has uh, added to the time in which it's going to take uh, to get this game underway. So. Again, the final score here in overtime, it was MMCRU 56, Galen Catholic 55 here in a War Eagle Conference girls basketball matchup. Again, we do want to remind you, uh, coming up tomorrow morning, in case we don't get uh, some comments from uh, the head coach of Galen Catholic uh, girls basketball, Coach Brandon Shecker, in case we don't get that, uh, we will uh, be hearing from Coach Shecker coming up tomorrow morning on the KLEM Coaches Corner. Be an 8.05 start to the program. We'll also have Lamar's community head coach, Sidney Baumgartner. Of course, Brandon Shecker, Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. And then we're going to have Lamar's community girls wrestling coach on. Greer Millage talking about the uh, girls state wrestling tournament. A busy uh, couple of days of uh, girls state wrestling action. And we will uh, have uh, that chat with uh, Coach uh, Greer Millage coming up tomorrow morning on the KLEM Coaches Corner. In the final score in Warrego Conference Girls Basketball, it was MMCRU 56, Galen Catholic 55 in overtime. And we will uh, take a break. We'll come back and uh, we'll continue post-game and maybe transition into pre-game of the boys basketball contest between MMCRU and Galen Catholic. That'll be coming up in just a couple of minutes. You are listening to Warrego Conference Basketball. MMCRU taking on Galen Catholic tonight. 
It is right here on 1410 AM and 96.9 FM, KLEM, Lamar's. Certified public accountants, Cruz and Cruz, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruz and Cruz Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor of local athletics. For all of your custom awards and engraving needs, visit Plymouth Awards and Engraving at 130 4th Avenue Northeast in Lamars. You are sure to find that perfect gift for anyone at Plymouth Awards and Engraving. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive-up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for it. Always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang is such a player. <laughs> Easy clean car wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of High V Lamar's. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. Young and old alike, enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head, and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pea's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and, of course, Pea's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pea's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank, we're ready for you. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamar's at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. This is Haley Pullen, and you're listening to Jay's Fastball on KLEM. We welcome you back to the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus and our post-game coverage of our Wargo Conference girls basketball matchup as MMCRU defeats Galen Catholic by a final score of 56-55. to 
in overtime. Early thrilling ball game, and the Royals were able to pull off the victory here tonight in Marcus to improve to 5-12 and 12 on the year, 2-7 and seven of the conference. Galen Catholic dropping to 2-18 and 18 and 1-8 and eight in the Royal Conference. Our boys basketball game's coming up here in the not-too-distant future, of course. We'll have that for you right here on KLEM. The senior night uh, festivities and things like that just wrapped up here tonight in Marcus, so... Uh, we can uh, maybe start working on things to get the boys' contest ready. The boys have now started taking the floor, so we'll start talking about that a little bit. We're hoping to maybe track down Brandon Checker, the head coach of Galen Girls Basketball, as he starts making his way over here. Jay's a tough loss here tonight in overtime by the final score of 56 to 55, and uh, just really uh, did not have the basket that. Um, either team needed. I mean, it was uh, kind of one of those back and forth games. Each team had a punch for the other, but really could not get the job done here tonight, unfortunately, and uh, that was uh, a tough one uh, for Galen Catholic. They were in it, and they had a chance to win it multiple times, and unfortunately just could not get the job done. Again, the final score here tonight, 56-55. MMCRU defeats Galen Catholic in overtime to uh, hand the Jays their eighth War Eagle Conference loss of the season and uh, MMCRU improving to two and seven. We are now joined post game by the head coach of Galen Girls Basketball, Coach Brandon Checker. And Coach, uh, I mean, the loss stings, obviously. It's not fun, but boy, what a what a game, what an effort that uh, your girls put forth. I mean, you, you got to be proud of of the, the fight they showed for 36 minutes here tonight. <laughs> That's exactly what we just got done talking about. Super proud of their effort. They got after it for four quarters. Um, yeah, it does. It stings uh, to, to lose a game like that, especially when they started off so well. We switched a few things up, and they were able to grasp it, and th they did that well. Just a few too many mistakes. Um, and give credit to... Uh, Let's be honest, you give credit, credit to Tedinger who yeah. <laughs> decided to go off. Uh, she took advantage of a few mistakes that we had down here and a nice little three there uh, that almost hit the, hit the ceiling. Um, but it seemed like they, uh, they got some energy in that second half and they kept battling and I'm just glad we kept battling instead of, instead of laying down. So I was, I was proud of their effort. Yeah, it, that effort saw you go up by 12 there in the third quarter. Uh, you talk about the things you did right. What were some of those things that were going your way throughout the first maybe two and a half, three quarters? You know, I think that uh, the, the press kind of stifled them a little bit at the at the beginning. Um, and we hadn't spent a lot of time working on that. So super proud of the girls for just pushing there. Yep. And we talked about defense is going to lead to offense tonight. We've really got to focus in on defense a little bit. And you could see we really focused in on defense to start right. the game. And that made, that made all the difference. Unfortunately, we got a little relaxed on defense as the game progressed. Yeah. I didn't probably go as deep in my bench as I would have liked. Sure. Um, but gut feel just to go with the girls that we that I played tonight. And I, I give them all the credit in the world. They, they put forth a battle. Yeah, because, again, you could be down 12 and lose the lead and be down for good. You guys were down six in the fourth quarter and put together a run to tie the game. I, I, just what does that say about this team? Well, the, the, the funny thing is, is it, it didn't come from us tonight. Mm. The girls had so much energy at that moment. You know, if, if some of the girls were down because they just made a mistake or something like that, another girl was super vocal saying, hey, get over it. We're still in this game. Right. Let's make that comeback. So that was a big thing tonight. It was a team. It was everybody on the bench. It was everybody on the floor. Nobody let anybody put their heads down for very long. It was get your heads up and let's keep playing ball. So that's why we stuck around. Somebody uh, that played ball for you was Isaiah Sitzman, 28 points, game high. Um, it seems like it was kind of one of her nights where you just gave her the ball, let her work, and, and uh, she rewarded you a lot more often than not. Absolutely. And, again, I think it started with her on defense. That press, she got a few steals. She got a few passes from steals was able to knock down some early shots, and that gets Rye going. Yep. If Rye can get those couple early shots going, then we're in for a good a good showing by her. You know, and then, then Nevaeh really stepped up tonight too. Hit some quality shots. Sammy Zubrod for three, completely confident. <laughs> you know, Haley Lubin stepping in, didn't get a ton of playing time tonight, was able to step in and hit that three yep. in the fourth quarter to get us, you know, the lead. 
A lot of girls put in a lot of good minutes for us. Yeah, it was it was a really good showing by it. It's, it's a shame the scoreboard couldn't reflect that properly, but um, you guys have one more regular season game on Tuesday. You head to the into the postseason on Thursday. Coach, uh, you know, as you, as you enter this part of the season, you enter this this tough stretch here to end the regular season. What are the things that that still have to happen for your team? I just want this energy. Mm -hmm. The energy and the excitement that they brought to the court tonight has been lost for a while, and it was here. Yep. And win, lose, it was fun to coach these girls tonight just because of that energy. So we continue to bring energy like that moving forward. We can end this season on a couple wins yet. I hope so. Yeah, Coach, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, Daniel. Absolutely. Brandon Checker, head coach of Galen Catholic Girls Basketball. Here on our post-game coverage tonight, as it is MMCRU defeating Galen Catholic by the final score of 56-55 in overtime. The Royals again improved to 5-12, and 2-7 and in the conference. Galen drops to 2-18 and 1-8 and and in War Eagle Conference action. We'll take a break and get our pregame started of the boys' contest. The MMCRU and Galen boys should be another fun one. Wouldn't be surprised if it went to overtime. We'll have it for you coming up next right here on KLEM. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Success is born of skill and team. Like the teams playing, CNOS has combined award-winning skill and teamwork into the premier medical facility in the region. For the areas of joint, bone, muscle, nerve, and brain are treated with the skills of comprehensive care from a team of highly trained experts. And CNOS takes care of many of the student athletes in Siouxland. CNOS is proud to bring you this game. Go to CNOS.net to learn more. Colbeck Incorporated is proud to support local high school athletics. They encourage you to play hard and play smart and always show good sportsmanship. Best of luck from your friends, Brian, Kevin, and Wayne Colbeck. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling and i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of Hy-Vee and Lamar's. Murphy Collins and McGill PLC in Lamar's supports our local student athletes trusted for generations with reliable legal guidance. So when you are in need of legal services, consult with one of the attorneys at Murphy Collins and McGill PLC located at 38 First Avenue Northwest Lamar's, Iowa. This is Carson Arns and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEN. And we welcome you back to Marcus of the MMCRU High School Gym. Galen Catholic taking on MMCRU now for the boys contest after an overtime and a bit of an extended uh, between game intermission with the senior night festivities. We are now ready to get things rolling for the boys contest. And thank goodness we are because this is going to be a fun one, I think. MMCRU having one of its best seasons as a consolidated school. One of the things we did catch um, in between games in the in the senior day f speeches was boys assistant uh, coach Shane Bork who talked about the fact that uh, the standard's been changed as far as boys sports here at MMCRU and I would have to agree wholeheartedly football team gets to the playoffs for the first time ever the baseball team made some strides this past summer I'm looking for them to have a good season again this year and of course the basketball team with an 11 and 6 record they're 6 and 2 in the Warrigal Conference and normally that's good for about 4th uh, maybe fifth, uh, you know, because it's a, such a tough conference. But this year, that's tied for third and only a game out of first place. So MMCRU is right there in the thick of the conference race. I look at the top five in the Warrego Conference. 
I see Hinton and Remsen St. Mary's fifth and first separated by a game and a half at the top of the War Eagle Conference race. It should be a really fun race to the finish to see who is going to come out on top in the War Eagle Conference in girls ba or in boys basketball this season. Right now it's Remsen St. Mary's at 7-1, and one, Akron Westfield 7-2, and two, then MMCRU and South O'Brien are tied up at 6-2 and two in the conference, and Hinton's in fifth at 6-3 and three in War Eagle Conference play. Of course, MMCRU needs an opponent. They're taking on Gatlin Catholic tonight. The Jays 7-11, 4-4 in the War Eagle Conference, tied for sixth, and are trying to bounce back. They've lost now five of their last six games and three in a row. Their last game went to overtime as well on Monday. Maybe we get two overtime games for the price of one. I'm not sure. 51-45 loss to Hinton before that. Remsen, St. Mary's, and South O'Brien kind of on the same uh, trajectory of schedule that MMCRU's been on. They played Akron Westfield instead of Hinton, but they've also played South O'Brien and Remsen St. Mary's in this run. Both teams have struggled with those two teams in particular. Um, MMCRU was able to get past Akron. Meanwhile, uh, Galen had trouble with Hinton, but uh, that's uh, kind of the you know crux of it. Both teams have played some tough teams, and I'm sure they're eager to have teams that are uh, you know pretty even with each other. Galen MMCRU, I don't see too many. Uh, differences between these two squads and it should make for a really fun contest in War Eagle Conference boys basketball here tonight and the Royals are 11 and 6 6 and 2 in the conference Galen is 7 and 11 4 and 4 in War Eagle Conference action we're looking forward to bringing it to you whether it's on air here on KLEM radio online at KLEM1410.com or video streaming on the KLEM radio YouTube channel we're looking forward to a great night of boys basketball. Let's take a break, and when we come back, we'll run down the starting lineups for you between the Jays and the Royals. Tip-off is in just a few minutes as well. Your starters come your way next here on KLAM Lamars. Kemp's Dairy of Lamars is a proud supporter of area athletics. They focus on strong, healthy bodies with all their dairy products, and they continue to strive hard to provide the best possible dairy products to their customers. That's Kemp's Dairy of Lamar's. For all your construction needs, trust the Wilchin Brothers. They're a Better Business Bureau accredited business and will be there every step of the way to get your project done right. Call 546-4135 for Wilchin Brothers Incorporated. Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud supporters of this broadcast. Hard work and determination are vital to the success of our area athletics. The Lamar's Community Athletic Boosters are proud to stand behind our athletes and coaches as they work towards success on the field and in the classroom. A home is a safe place to be, a roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. When it comes to service, your Lamar's hy is number one for shopping both in-store and online. Save with the Fuel Saver Plus Perks Rewards Program at hy where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hi, sports fans. This is Perry from Ace Hardware in Lamar's. We're happy to have a huge selection of what you need to efficiently maintain your home so you can find time to enjoy the game. Check out what's in the store at the new Ace Hardware downtown Lamar's. East Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pea's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pea's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pea's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Hi, this is Misty Zach. This is Brock Nohava. Hi, this is Happy Phillips. Hi, this is Austin Sitzman. This is Dave Close. Hi, this is Jody with Exit Realty Midwest. Exit Realty Midwest is proud to support our area athletes. Find them online at ExitRealtyMidwest.com. 
Siouxland Glass is so glad you're supporting local athletes and listening to this great matchup. Siouxland Glass wants me to tell you that if you have a chip or crack in your windshield or need the whole thing replaced, you can call them at 540-9080. Siouxland Glass! Get more because you deserve more with Kylie Petty, Century 21 Pro Link, serving Lamar since 2011. Wishing our local teams a successful season. Visit KiliePetty.com for your real estate needs. This is Nolan Teal, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteck with you on KLEM. Lamar's online audio at KLEM1410.com and video streaming on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. Galen Catholic and MMCRU and boys basketball are ready to get this one underway here in the not-too-distant future. Should be a fun matchup. Again, both teams are kind of similar as far as skill set is concerned. I look for this to be a very evenly matched contest and one um, could it go into overtime like the girls game did? That's going to be the uh, maybe maybe the question you have in case you want to know how long am I going to be able to listen to this contest. You might be at it for a little while here tonight because it's going to be a, uh, a very tightly contested ball game. The earlier game this year was December 1st, 48-43 in favor of uh, MMCRU winning that ball game on December 1st. Let's take a look at the starting lineups of this contest. First for Galen Catholic. They are 7-11, and 4-4 four and four in the War Eagle Conference under first-year head coach Ryan Wilchin. And his starting lineup looks like this. A 6 foot nothing senior at eight points a ball game, two rebounds a contest. That'd be Trevor Teal. That's a six foot one senior. That is Jackson Kramer. Two and a half points a game. Let's go along with two assists and a steal and a half a ball game. The six foot three sophomore, that'd be Nolan Teal. He's averaging six and a half points, four rebounds, and two assists a night. Six foot three senior forward is Gabe Wilson. 13 and a half points, five rebounds, and a steal a contest. And to round out the lineup for the Jays, it's a 5'10 sophomore post. He's gotten his way into the starting lineup. That'd be Dane Lehman, averaging 4.5 points, 4 rebounds, and an assist to contest. Again, Ryan Wilchin, head coach of Gatlin Catholic Boys Basketball, assisted by Eric Kellen, as well as Alec Langle. Now for MMCRU, the Royals with an 11-6 and six record, 6-2 six and two in the Royal Conference this season under sixth-year head coach Cam Kuchel. The starting lineup is a 6'2 senior forward. That's Jonah Peterson. Scored five points this season to quarterback. He's uh, the football team, and he's going to Iowa Western Community College to play football next fall. That's a six-foot-one senior forward. That's Dawson Pick with a rebound and an assist on the season this year. Six-foot-two senior forward. That's Owen Schrader. He scored two points and three rebounds this season. A six-foot-five senior center. Honorable mention all War Eagle Conference a couple of years ago. That'd be Mitchell Schneff. Five points, three rebounds, and two assists a contest. Then around the lineup, it's a five-foot-ten senior guard. That's Noah Gallus. He scored seven points and pulled down two rebounds this season. For Cam Kuchel, the sixth-year head coach of the Royals, he's assisted by Shane Bork and Bradley Hodgen. Of course, MMCRU going with a senior-heavy lineup, and not all these seniors start, not all these seniors play, but they are getting the start here tonight on senior night, so it should be a really fun night of basketball. Galen Catholic and MMCRU going at it here tonight. We'll get the tip-off underway here in just a moment between the Royals and the Jays in Fargo Conference boys basketball. We are ready to tip it off. It's going to be Mitchell Schneff and Nolan Teal in the center circle. Royals and the Jays, and here we go. The opening tap is into the hands of Gabe Wilchin, and the Jays start with the possession. Royals won the tap, but the Jays got the basketball, and now Dane Lehman's kickout pass gets deflected out of bounds by MMCRU, and it will stay with the Jays. Baseline right of the hoop. So Jays with the first possession. Jackson Kramer inbound right corner. He finds Gabe Wilchin. Dribbling left, Wilton lobs it up top for Nolan Teal. Back to Wilton on the right wing. He tees up a three ball and missed it off the front of the rim. And the rebound is tracked down by MMCRU. Royals bring it up the floor with Noah Callis. He gives it off top of the key. Jonah Peterson back to the left side for Owen Schrader. Back down to Peterson, kind of the hoop. Left block, reverse layup of the right hand. Missed strong. And the rebound tracked down by the Jays. Here comes Trevor, uh, Trevor Teal into the half court. Left side for Nolan. Back to Trevor at the top of the arc. And he goes left for Nolan Teal. Left high post, Gabe Wilson, left block fadeaway, eight footer through contact, missed strong, and the rebound pulled down by MMCRU. Royals bring it up with Noah Gallus. Into the half court, picked up by Trevor Teal. Gallus left corner now for Schrader, dumps it left baseline, snap back out to Schrader, left wing three ball, it's strong, and the rebound with Gabe Wilson. Here comes 
Galen Catholic now. Trevor Teal, right side wing. Kramer thought about the three. Good closeout from Gallus. Top of the arc, free throw line. Wilson bounced it out right corner. Dane Lehman a catch and release three. That rims in and out of the rebound for Mitchell Schneff. And here comes MMCRU with Noah Gallus. Now we're going to get a timeout for MMCRU to substitute their regular starters in. 6.47 to go in the first. Timeout on the floor. We're scoreless. Back with more basketball after this here on KLEM. At Universal Windows Direct, you're not just purchasing windows. You're also getting peace of mind, knowing that their knowledgeable local staff is there for you every step of the way. You receive quality Unishield products along with a limited lifetime warranty to ensure that you're taken care of for years to come. Universal Windows Direct wishes all local athletes the best of luck. Hummer's Lawn Care Service will provide you with the services needed for the best looking lawn in your neighborhood. Is it thatching, fertilizer, or simple maintaining of your freshly cut grass? Call Hummer's Lawn Care at 546-4087. This is Gabe Wilchin, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. Back to Marcus, the MMCRU High School gym, scoreless in this boys' basketball matchup. Six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. At top of the key is Michael Peterson. He swings it up top. It's into the hands of Clint Staub. Down to the paint, Mitchell Snap. Backs down his defender. The ball stripped loose by Trevor Teal. Recovered out. Right corner into the hands of Kyler Bork. They double down right block. Snap. Kick out pass right corner. Mulder drives the right baseline. One on the shot clock. He lost the basketball. And Galen Catholic with it. Here come the Jays now with Dane Lehman. Into the half court, Lehman passes top of the arc to Nolan Teal. And the Jays dump it back down to Lehman. Right block, he works through a double team. Dished it off to Kramer, left block. Turnaround, fadeaway shot in the lane, missed short. And the rebound tracked down by MMCRU. Royals bring it back. 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Royals and Jays are scoreless in boys basketball. Left side of the circles at Schneff. A dribble handoff for Brayson Muller. Around the key to the left side of the lane. Turn around on Will Jenny. He tries to kick it out and does. Kyler Bork right of the circle. Three ball rims in and out of the rebound for Gabe Wilchin. So we're remaining scoreless here in this contest as Wilchin brings it up the floor for the Jays. Five and a half minutes to go in the first. Jays and Royals at nothing apiece. Here's Trevor Teal off a pick from Nolan Teal. Right side corner to Gabe Wilchin. Gets a pick, double pick to his left. Picks up his dribble down to the right baseline for Lehman. Dane Lehman dribbles left. Back out Nolan Teal to the right corner. Gets bumped. Takes it right baseline to the block. Went up with it and he's fouled on the shot. And two free throws are coming. Clint Staub picks up his first. Team foul number one as well. I think that's, no, they're going to say that was on the floor. It's on the floor, so the Jays will have an inbound instead. Trevor Teal inbounds, right corner. Jackson Kramer fakes the three, drives inside, gives it off to Nolan Teal. Free throw line, spin move, left corner kick out. Wide open three from Trevor Teal, and he puts it in. And the Jays are on the board first. A three ball from Trevor Teal. 3 nothing Jays, 5.05 left in the first quarter. Here comes Clint Staub of the Royals as MMCRU tries to get on the board for the first time here this evening. Staub over the left wing, finds Mulder. Rolls a pass left baseline. Michael Peterson backs into the lane. Kick out pass right wing. A wide open three from Staub, and he missed that one short. Oh, board is kept alive by Peterson. Left corner kick out three off the heel from Brayson Mulder, and the rebound is uh, cleared out by Galen Catholic. Nolan Teal, right side wing. Skips a pass, Lehman down to the left baseline. Finds Kramer off a deflection. He drives under the basket. Goes up with the right block layup, and he traveled with the basketball in doing so. It'll be MMCRU basketball. Royals make a substitution. Jace Collings into the ball game for Mitchell Schneff. With 4.32 to play in the first quarter, 3-0 in favor of Galen Catholic. Royals still looking for their first points of the night. Staub, left side wing for Brayson Mulder. He skips it up top. Bork, free throw line. Jumper was partially deflected by Nolan Teal. Nice defense by Teal. And the Royal, or the Jays, bring it up now. Here comes Nolan Teal. Right side lane to the block. Step back, eight-footer from the baseline. Spins around the rim and falls through. Nolan Teal puts the Jays up 5-0. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Here comes Brayson Mulder. Right of the circles for MMCRU to the arc. Top of the key to Culling. Left side for Staub. Down to the left baseline. Working under the basket is Mulder. His turnaround shot from the block was deflected by Gabe Wilchin. Back-to-back shots for the Royals result in blocks. Here is Nolan Teal. Top of the arc, Lehman. Head fakes a three. Backs it out to Trevor Teal. Screen to his left. Teal down the left side of the lane. And the ball ripped at and recovers in the left corner. Teal picks it up. He's guarded tightly by Staub in that left corner. Has to back it out and does find Gabe Wilchin. Shot clock's down to 15. Wilchin left of the lane to the block. Throws it across the lane through the legs of the defender, Bork. Recovered by Nolan Teal. He wiggles around on the floor, and he was out of bounds while touching the basketball to be MMCRU ball. 
3.23 to go in quarter number one and a 5 nothing Galen Catholic advantage. Royals still yet to find the bottom of the net. Lucas Brown's into the contest here for MMCRU as well. Bork over to Brown. Has it top of the key. Back to the right side. Brayson Mulder guarded by Gabe Wilson. Mulder around the point to Brown. Lobs it back. Door for Michael Peterson. And Dane Lehman intercepts the pass and gives it off to Trevor Teal. Here come the Jays, who laid it by five. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Trevor Teal over to the right side. Finds Nolan Teal. Screen to his left from Lehman. Had a pick and roll. Now he finds him. Right block. Lehman gets behind the defender, but Bork swats him from behind on the hook shot. And MMCRU brings it back. Here comes Brown quickly. Right of the lane. Dumps it down to the right block. Culling. Kick out past Mulder. And he traveled before putting the ball on the floor. Sophomore turns it over. And it's Galen basketball. 2.43 to go in the first. Still a 5-0 Galen lead. MMCRU yet to find the bottom of the cup. Wyatt Olish into the ball game here for Michael Peterson. As the Royals just try and find something that can lead to points here. They are right now a combined 0 of 7 from the floor. Nolan Teal, screen to his left from Dane Lehman to the free throw line. They switch out to Trevor Teal at the top of the arc. Screen to his right and they switch back. Jace Culling now guarding Trevor Teal. Pass down to the right corner, Nolan Teal. He's guarded by Olish. Dribbles right baseline. Bounced it under, right block. Ball's loose. Lehman recovers. Puts it on the floor. Drives in with a right-hand floater, and he missed it short. And the rebound controlled by MMCRU. Brayson Mulder brings it up the floor. Right wing. Picks up his dribble. Up top into the hands of Kyler Bork. Bork dribbles to his right, top of the key, Culling, back down to the left corner, left block feed, Bork going back door, turn around right hand, hook shot off glass, misses strong, and Bork wanted a foul. His feet kind of got tangled up, but I think that's going to be incidental contact. Cam Kuchel is not in agreement of the call. Here comes Trevor Teal, left corner behind the back dribble. And now he picks it up, down to the left corner, finds Gabe Wilson, two Jays in the same spot, a little bit of congested traffic. Wilton down to the left block. Kramer backs down his defender. Turnaround contact shot and from eight feet. It missed everything wide left. And here come the Royals with Lucas Brown. Here to the half court. Brown picks it up over to the right corner for Wyatt Olish and backs it out. Brown to the head of the key. Minute 23 to go in the quarter. 5-0 Jays. Brown left side lane. Runs into Lehman. Pull up shot for the left block. Miss short. Brown's tap back off glass is good. And the Royals are on the board. It is 5-2 in favor of of Galen Catholic. Five to two in favor of Galen Catholic and the Jays work it right high post. Nolan Teal, a pull up 12 footer is up and in. And it is now seven to two. Galen leads a minute to go in the first quarter. Pretty low scoring affair through seven minutes of play. Here's Mulder, top of the key culling, left side wing into the hands of Brown. Back up top, Bork, a wide open straightaway. Three's nothing but net. Kyler Bork knocks down the three for the head of the key. Seven to five, Galen Catholic. 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Jackson Kramer picks up his dribble. Looking left, nobody's open, nobody's open. Kramer throws it away. It's off a deflection in the hands of Kyler Bork. Right sideline to the wing. He bounced it out, right corner. Brown gets downhill, right elbow. Culling, right side, Mulder to the free throw line. Pull up 15-footer for the tie. It's good off the front of the rim and in. Brayson Mulder with a nice dribble drive. And the Royals have tied the game at seven. Ten seconds to go in the first quarter. Working left, Kramer of the ball poke loose. Kramer tries to spin out of traffic, guarded by Wyatt Olish. Three seconds to go in the quarter. Right corner, Lehman, shot fake, gets three for a three, puts it up and short off the front of the rim. And your score after one quarter is knotted up at seven. Eight minutes gone, eight minutes to come in quarter number two. When we come back, seven points apiece. You're listening to Oracle Conference Basketball on KLEM. At Arnold Motor Supply in Lamar's, they understand service really does make the difference. They'll take the extra step to help you find the right part. The first time, every time. At Arnold Motor Supply, service really is the difference. We're proud to be Arnold Motor Supply. Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. State Farm agent Michael Crank is a proud supporter of local athletics. Whether you are looking for auto, home, or health insurance, 
Choose the agent that will be on your side. State Farm Agent Michael Crank. This is Jackson Kramer, and you're listening to Jays Basketball and KLEM. We played one quarter in this Warrior Conference boys basketball game. Quarter number two on the way with MMCRU and Galen Catholic tied at seven. The Royals were scoreless there for the first maybe six minutes of the game and finally turned it on with a 7-2 to run to finish the first quarter. See what quarter number two has in store for both offenses. Staub, right wing, finds Mitchell Schnepp. He starts working on Carson Arns. Right block, backs him down, out to the free throw line. Wyatt Allish, should open jumper, miss strong off the heel. And the rebound flagged down by Dylan Lubin. Lubin dribbles into the half court for the Jays. Dribbles to his right off a pick from Wilson. Right corner feed, Aiden Langle, the junior. Pass down low, deflected back, and Langle, the junior, backs it out. Top of the key to Teal. Screen to his left from Arns. Nolan Teal, Carson Arns, pick and roll pass. Gets deflected out by Wyatt Olish, and it'll stay Galen Catholic basketball. 7.27 to play in the first half. Game's tied at 7 between Galen and MMCRU. Here's Wilchin, free throw line feed. Lubin gets by Schneff, and Schneff rejected him on the pull-up jumper. Lubin got his own rebound out to Nolan Teal, who drives right of the lane. Kick out, free throw line. Wilchin fade away, 15-footers money. Gabe Wilchin for the free throw line gets his first basket of the night. 9-7, Galen retakes the lead. 6.06 to play before the first half ends. Royals in the half-court circle with Clint Stop Bounce pass left wing for Lucas Brown. Down to the left baseline. That pass to Michael Peterson. Gets deflected out of bounds by Gabe Wilchin. It will stay with the Royals. As they try and tie this game back up once again. 9-7 in favor of Galen Catholic. Clint Stop will have the inbound in the left block. Pull up jumper right away from Michael Peterson's up and good. And we are tied at 9. 6.50 to go in the first half. Here come the Jays now. Dylan Lubin into the half court. Over to the right side wing. Aiden Langle, the junior. The ball poked at. Skips it over to Carson Arns. Left of the circle. Ball fake. Back to the left corner. Dylan Lubin recovers the deflected pass up top to Wilchin. Gabe dribbles left. Spin move of the free throw line. Couldn't get free. Tried to dump it back door for Arns. That ball is intercepted by Mitchell Schneff. Some miscommunication there between the two posts of the Jays. Here's Clint Staub of the half court circle. He's guarded by Lubin. Back to the right side for Wyatt Olish. Olish finds Schneff, gives it back to Olish, right elbow, back to Schneff, right baseline, short corner, drives in on Arns, got tied up for a moment, kick out pass, open, right wing three from Olish, off the front of the rim, no good, tap back by Staub, and he missed the putback short. Here come the Jays with it, tied at nine, six minutes to go in the first half. Nolan Teal, left wing, screen to his right from Arns, Teal gets downhill, middle of the floor with a right hand finger roll, and it settles on the right side of the rim and falls through. Nolan Teal's got six. The Jays are back up 11 to nine. 547 to go in the first half. Staub left side, Wyatt Olish back top. Brown faces the basket at the head of the key. Right side to Staub. Looking, finds Peterson kind of the hoop, and Wilson deflects the pass from behind and commits a foul. It's Gabe Wilson's first foul of the night. That's actually Galen's first foul of the night. Comes in quarter number one, uh, two. MMCRU in one foul in the first quarter. 5.37 to go before halftime. 11-9 in favor of Galen Catholic. Inbound coming from Clint Staub. And he looks, finds Peterson open on the left block. He got lost in the spin cycle and easily lays it in for two. An easy basket there for Michael Peterson. He's got four. And we're tied at 11. 5.25 to go before halftime. Bounce pass right of the key, and an open long two from Dane Lehman. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Dane Lehman from about 17 feet out puts the Jays back up two, 13 to 11, 5.13 to go before halftime. Royals, Schnepp feeds it back door, Brace and Mulder tie up under the basket. We're going to get a jump ball, and the possession is with Galen Catholic. The pass down low to Mulder kind of went through his legs, and then Aiden Langle, the junior, tied up the loose ball with him. So Galen gets the ball. MMCRU is going to implement some full court defense, try and steal the possession back. 5.08 to go before halftime. 13 to 11 in favor of Galen Catholic. Trevor Teal throws it up. Dane Lehman comes down with it. Three on one for the Jays. Lehman gives it off. Left block. Carson Arns. Easy layup over the defender for two. And a nice job of turning that into points. 15 to 11 in favor of Galen Catholic. Five minutes to go in the half. Top of the key, Brayson Mulder over the left side, high post. Peterson gives it back to Mulder, tees up an open three, ball missed it strong. Long rebound right corner is corralled by Dylan Lubin, and he bounced it out to Carson Arns. Here come the Jays now with Lubin, 4.40 to go before halftime. 
It's 15-11, Galen Catholic on top. Lubin gets down the left side of the lane, gets to the block, kick out pass, Aiden Langle, the junior, drives to the high post, out to Lehman at the top of the arc. Right side for Lubin, he works off a pick, step back, three balls, money for Dylan Lubin. It's 18-11, Galen leads. They're on a 7-0 spurt with 4.20 to go in the half. Here comes Kyler Bork. He needs a basket here. Right corner, kicks it out to Stobbs, reverses it over to Mulder, back to Stobbs at the top of the key. Hand off for Brayson Mulder, dribbles to his right with 4.07 to go in the half. Top of the arc, Jace Culling, left side for Clint Stobb. Stobb, top of the arc, Peterson, off the dribble, right side wing, Bork, a jab step. He's looking, looking to his post and finds Peterson, right block. He's pushed from behind, receiving the pass, and a foul is called. They're going to get Aiden Langle, the junior, for the foul. That's his first. Team second, and with 3.56 to go in the half, it is 18 to 11 in favor of Galen Catholic. Jays have scored seven unanswered points to take their largest lead of the evening. Clint Stobble inbound, baseline right of the hoop. He goes up top and finds Kyler Bork. Bork, little tiptoe fake of a three, left corner Peterson down to the cutting, calling, backs it out for Peterson, left elbow. Out up top, Clint Stobb, crossover dribble to his left hand, over to the left wing for Brayson Mulder. And Mulder has to settle it out to the top of the arc. Brayson Mulder, left side, shot clock at 15 for Culling. As he gives it back to Bork at the top of the key. Right side, Mulder, guarded by Lehman. Brayson Mulder, top of the arc. Michael Peterson drives right of the lane to the block, scoops it off. Glass strong, offensive board. Culling puts it back up, and he was fouled on the shot by Trevor Teal. And two free throws are coming here for Jace Culling. First for Teal, team foul number three of the third quarter, or the second quarter. Two free throws are coming here for Jace Culling. And the first is up and good. 18-12, Galen Catholic leads. Jace Culling on the board for the first time here tonight. Second free throw up coming here for Culling. It is short and long rebound is flagged down in the left corner by Dylan Lubin. Nice recovery there by Lubin. And the Jays work it up with some full court defense. And now backs off. Pass up the floor to Dane Lehman. Was deflected out by Calling. And it'll stay with Galen Catholic. 3.15 to go in the half. It's 18-12 in favor of Galen Catholic. Coming up at halftime, at least uh, that's this is the plan anyway. We're going to be chatting with Jillian Lecce, head coach of MMCRU Girls Basketball. And won an overtime tonight, 56-55 over the Jays. So we'll get her thoughts on the contest. Coming up at halftime of this ball game. This pass over to the wing for Arns. Gets deflected out of bounds by Michael Peterson, and it will stay with the Jays in the half court. Shot clock's now down to 19, though. So they're going to have to work quickly here. Wilson will inbound. Gets it in Nolan Teal. Dribbles to the top of the key. Right side of the lane to the block. Jump stop. Tries to back it out. Finds Gabe Wilson. Right wing. Step back three ball. Off the front of the rim of the rebound for Michael Peterson. Gabe Wilson can't get the three. Now here come the Royals. Brown left corner to Mulder. Drives the left baseline against Wilson. Left block, kick out, right wing. Three ball off the bounce from Bork. It's short, and the rebound is deflected loose and pulled down by Dylan Lubin. And here come the Jays, who lead it by six. 2.38 to go in the half. Nolan Teal, screen to his right from Lehman. Middle of the alley, floater up from 10 feet. Off the front of the rim a couple of times and falls through. 20-12, to 12, Galen. Nolan Teal with eight points. Kyler Bork brings it into the half court for the Royals. Sets things up with 2.20 to go before halftime. Mulder, top of the key, Lucas Brown, left side of the lane to the block, jump stop, and put up a shot through contact. It got deflected toward the end line, recovered by Brown, feeds it across the lane. Culling pull-up jump from the right block, misses strong, and the rebound with Dane Lehman. 2.05 to go before halftime, 20-12 to 12 in favor of Galen Catholic. Under the basket, Carson Ahrens lays it up off glass and in for two, and we got a timeout of the floor from MMCRU with two minutes to go, 22-12. to 12. The Jays lead it by 10. We're back after this here on KLEM. Hi, Jessica G. Well, hello, Libby Lexus. I'm so excited to get the spa treatment at Easy Clean Car Wash. My owner knows how much I love the soft water. Oh, and the quick massage just makes my bumpers tingle. And the blow dry is to die for it. Always leaves my exterior sleek and shiny. My owner bought me a year pass so I can have the spa treatment anytime I oh, want. Hey, ladies. Ooh, nice tires. Oh, Mickey Mustang, you're such a player. <laughs> Easy Clean Car Wash. Give your car the spa treatment today. 12th Street East of Hy-Vee. Lamar's. This is Trevor Teal, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We're back inside the MMCRU High School Gym, and Marcus, Daniel Versteg with you with two minutes to go before halftime. 
MMCRU finds themselves down double digits to Kalen Catholic, 22 to 12. Here in boys basketball action, the Royals bring it up with Kyler Bork, and he dribbles to the right side of the circles. Picked up by Dylan Lubin. Right corner feed to Brayson Muller. Back to Bork. He throws it over his head in the backcourt, and it was kept alive by Brown. Bork never touched in the backcourt. What a job to keep his footing in the front court and save the basketball and the possession. Bork, top of the key to Mulder. Left corner feed to Culling. Drives the block. Kick out pass Bork. A wide open right wing three is good. Give the credit to Kyler Bork, who kept that ball in play before a backcourt violation. It's 22 to 15. Galen Catholic. Minute 15 to go in the half. Dylan Lubin. Over to the right side wing, Nolan Teal. Right corner, Gabe Wilson. Free throw line, Lehman goes back door right block. Carson Arns throws it in with two hands. Elevating in the jam from Arns, 24-15 Jays. Here's Brown off the dribble. Lefty stroke on the left wing for three, and he drills it. Lucas Brown gets one going from the outside, 24-18 in favor of Galen, 50 seconds to go in the half. Here's Nolan Teal, right of the circles, right corner to Lehman. Back to Teal, skip pass left wing. Gabe Wilson, the shot fakes the three, drives to the left elbow, 17-foot pull-ups too strong. Oh, board from Carson Arns. Nice effort, Arns free throw line, bouncing out Dane Lehman, time out from Ryan Wilson, the head coach of the Jays with 34 seconds to go in the half. 24-18 in favor of Galen, we'll take the time out as well. We're back after this on KLEM. Connected Electric South is your electrical headquarters for residential, commercial, and agriculture. Call for a free quote today at 546-5062. Call Connected Electric South for all your electrical needs. 5465062 Score big with the Sitzman Real Estate team. Hometown realtors Shane, Peggy, Lance, and Patty are cheering the Lamar's Bulldogs and Galen Jays on to a victory. Buying or selling? Call the Sitzman Real Estate team today at 5467881. This is Aiden Langel and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We're back inside the MMCRU High School Gym and Marcus. Daniel for Steg with you. 34 and a half seconds to go before halftime. It is 24 to 18. The Galen Catholic boys lead MMCRU here tonight. Jays have the inbound in the half court. Right corner, Dane Lehman gets the inbound and goes up top to Wilchin. They reverse it left side wing for Dylan Lubin, and the Jays want to hold for the last shot here. Uh, close to the last shot anyway. Lubin goes back up top, Wilson. Right side, Nolan Deal on the wing. He goes back top of the key, Wilson. Reverses left corner. Dylan Lubin takes the baseline, dumps it under left block. Arns bounced it back out. Left corner, three from Lubin's, nothing but net. 27 18, Galen Catholic. Lubin's got a pair of threes, and now there's just seven seconds left in the half. Bork turns up the speed a little bit. Right side wing, Mulder down to the right baseline. Schnapp with three, with two. Mulder pull up, 10 footer in the lane is good, and that'll be how the first half comes to an end. Your score. 27 to 20, Galen leads MMCRU in Warrigal Conference basketball. Take a break and get our halftime coverage going after this. You're listening to Warrigal Conference Boys Basketball on KLEM. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. This is Coach Wilchin, and you are listening to Jay's Basketball on KLEM. We want to be back to our halftime coverage here in Marcus tonight as the MMCRU boys trail Galen Catholic 27 to 20. But we're talking good things MMCRU basketball with uh, Jillian Lecce, the head coach of the Royal Girls. An overtime win by one point, coach. Um, but first of all, you were down by a dozen there late in the third quarter. What did it take to, to get you guys back into the contest? Uh, a lot of teamwork. The girls, uh, you know, the, there was a couple times we were playing a little bit selfish, but they came back as a team. I worked the ball around. I think a lot of the time we were just trying to go too fast for ourselves, you know, and we had a few dumb turnovers that, that we didn't capitalize on. So, uh, But the girls really figured it out. They started slowing down, listening on the court. Um, it was really fun to watch. It was actually a really fun game to coach, you know, and uh, especially when we saw them set up and we took that timeout after we after they just had a timeout. We knew exactly what they were going to do, and, we, and then we had a feeling that's what they were going to do anyway, but... 
it was just kind of fun, you know, when you can coach like that and 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 pull some tricks out of your sleeve and and the girls love it too and it makes that morale go a lot better and even though we may have missed a lot of free throws tonight I really I'm really happy that we came out with a win tonight. Yeah, absolutely because you deserve I mean you, the effort your girls played with too. I mean it, that can't go unnoticed. You guys were going after rebounds. I, I mean what more can you say about Chloe Ollis yes, and how she was yes. getting loose ball after loose ball? Oh my gosh, that girl came out to play tonight. Yeah. I was so excited. We call her a beast out there. Yeah. At halftime, we were like, dang, girl, keep going, you know, and uh, I was so proud of her. She's doing so well out there, and, and even, you know, Lana coming off the bench, and she yep. played amazing, de help side defense, getting some steals or helping that. You know, Tia coming Tia coming in and, and hitting some big shots for us and, and a lot of good steals, which is awesome. I think everybody everybody really put out their best effort, and it wasn't, it wasn't just a one-person thing. Kylie played great defense. Yep. Excuse me. Great defense tonight too. So it was it was just an all around team effort. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Tia in particular because it was her run that got you back into the game. She had nine points right away there in the end of the third quarter, sixteen in the second half. When she gets it going, what makes her such a good scorer? And then like you talked about as well, she played defense in that run too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, her attitude and effort really showed well tonight. Um, I love it when they all come together with their great attitudes. That's what makes it fun. Um, and she was, she was all around. You know, she was listening on the floor. And I told us like, hey, you know, that shot may not have been good, but and then she comes back and hits a big shot. So, you know, she was, she was really figuring it out. I think. And and with those big steals that she had, you know, we've been teaching her you need to chin it when you when you go up for that layup because she kind of has like a little kind of a hooky shot, yeah. which is fine. Mm -hmm. But we need the security and. And she's been doing so great with that, and she's she's really improved, and she really keeps that, that our game pushed. She pushes our tempo, which I really love. Yeah. Um, there are times where we need to assess when we get down instead of force it, but right. You know, I mean, I like I like that she likes to push it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you too about. So you guys were down by about 12 or 11 yep. points there, and then it was you guys were up by six, and then you gave up the tie that ultimately went into overtime. Yep. Yeah. I mean, just. You know, the fact that you guys stuck with it, too. I mean, you, we've, we've talked about it before. It's a younger team. Right. You lose a six-point lead late. You could you could probably give it up, but they, they fought and, and really put together a good overtime. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, all the girls really fought hard for loose balls, all those things. But, yeah, when we came down and, and Chloe missed those free throws or, you know, and, and I was like, don't get down on yourself. Right. We're still in this. And Lana, Lana at the end there, she missed her free yeah. throws. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. And uh, but I said, girls, it's okay. We're still in this. Don't dwell on it. Now we got to go make up for it, right? Yep. And they did. They did a great job. Um, you know, all around. I'm just, I'm, I'm unbelievably proud of these girls. We needed this win under our belt, and uh, I think the girls are ready for next week too. And then uh, also, how poetic was it that? Chloe, Lana were missing some free throws late, and then Chloe gets the and one basket yes, to seal it. Yes, <laughs> I know that was amazing. I think she got redemption. She did. She got redemption, which was, which was amazing. And I told the girls, we have the momentum. Keep it up. Yep. Keep attacking the rim. They're in foul trouble, you know. And and they listened. That's that's the great thing about it is, you can you can tell that there's there's morale and there's um, some connection going on in there, especially when, you know, when I say something. They do it, yep. you know, and and that's what the, con con conceals the win. So I, I, I just love how the girls came together tonight. You talk about next week. It is a busy week for you. Two games to start the week, and then, of course, uh, the tournament begins on Saturday for you. Um, what's what's the key to finishing the regular season strong here the next uh, two weekdays, I guess, and then taking your best basketball into the tournament? Attitude and effort, always. We've always preached it. Um, if we cannot rebound the other team, that's a golden, and, and keep our hands back and not commit silly fouls. Um, but that's what we've been talking about this whole year, and we're getting better at it, and this is the time to shine. It absolutely is. Coach, thanks for a great game. Congrats on the win. We'll talk soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> absolutely. It's Jillian Lecce, the head coach of MMCRU Girls Basketball. We will uh, take a break. We'll come back. It's halftime of the boys game, and it's 27-20. to 20. Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. We'll get you some first-half stats and recap the first uh, 16 minutes of the game when we come back here on KLAM Lamar's. 
South Greenview Estates is a peaceful living space located across from Willow Creek Golf Course in Lamar's. Check out their 55-plus apartments. For a private showing, call 548-7424. For more details, check out their Facebook page, South Greenview Estates in Lamar's. Klein Insulation can provide you with a complete insulation system for your attic, crawl spaces, and foundation walls. Call Kyle with Klein Insulation at 540-5691. That's 540-5691. At Fetters Marine and RV, you are sure to find exactly what you're looking for, whether it be fifth wheel, travel trailer, and toy hauler models from Crossroads, Dutchman, and Coachman. At Fetters Marine and RV, where the road to adventure starts. Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Pee's Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Pee's Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Pee's Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. For all of your commercial or residential concrete or construction needs, JMAX Construction is ready for you. At JMAX Construction, you can be sure that your project will be handled with great customer service as well as the best of class construction and concrete work. Call JMAX Construction and Concrete today at 540 Insurance knows that teamwork is dream work. At MRK Insurance, you get a great partner for all of your insurance needs. Visit them today on Central Avenue in Lamar's for a no-obligation quote for all of your insurance needs. That's MRK Insurance in Lamar's. Deposit rates are on the rise, and Northwest Bank is offering great CD rates so you can earn more interest on your money. Whether you're saving for a special event or building your nest egg, your money will grow with us. Choose from a variety of CD terms and competitive rates. Plus, get rewarded for having your qualified checking account at Northwest Bank. Find out more online at nw.bank forward slash best rates. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. This is Carson Arns, and you are listening to Base Basketball on KLEN. We brought you back inside the MMCRU High School Jim and Marcus. Halftime of the boys game as the Galen Catholic boys defeat MMCRU or lead MMCRU 27-20. Still 16 minutes to play here in this contest, or maybe 20. We might get to overtime of this one as well. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Galen Catholic goes 12 of 23 from the field, 3 of 7 from the three-point arc. Did not get to the free throw line. Nolan Teal goes 4 of 4 from the floor. He has 8 points. 6 points each for Dylan Lubin and Carson Ahrens, and it was 3 points for Trevor Teal, and 2 points apiece for Gabe Wilson and Dane Lehman. And for MMCRU, they go 8 of 24 from the field, 3 of 10 from the three-point arc, and 1 of 2 from the charity stripe, led offensively by uh, Kyler Bork. He got a couple of threes to fall. He's got six points, five points for Lucas Brown, four points each for Michael Peterson and Brayson Mulder, and then it was one point for Jace Culling in the first half. We're going to see who gets on the roll first as far as offensive success is concerned because I think that's going to dictate a lot of how this second half goes. Both teams were slow out of the gate. Then Galen got going, and then MMCRU got going. Um, we're going to see who uh, who comes out of the gate better here to start the second half, and I think whoever kind of takes advantage of the first three or four minutes here should potentially end up uh, winning this ballgame. But we'll see. Again, the score right now, it is 27-20 in favor of Galen Catholic at the uh, halftime break, ready to start half number two as the uh, Royals bring it up. It is Bork over to the right corner for Mitchell Sneff. Dribbles to his left, and... Looks under the basket. Now goes up top, Kyler Bork. Quick fires a three ball and drills it. That's a good way to get the second half started. Kyler Bork knocks one down. He's got nine. It's 27-23 in favor of the Jays. 7.35 to go in the third. Pass up top. Kramer recovers it after a deflection by Bork. Right side wing. Trevor Teal tees up the three and rattles it in. And we've got dueling rifles here to start the second half between Bork and Teal. It's 30-23. to Jays lead it. Mulder, top of the key, Peterson, back to the left side, Clint Staub, and Staub looks to his right, can't find anybody, finds Schnapp at the top of the key, good tight defense on him from Dane Lehman, Lehman getting in his grill, he deflects the pass, Lehman brings up the four, uncontested to the hoop, he lost the dribble for a moment, he double dribbled before the reverse layup, 
He made the reverse layup, but he did double dribble before it, and it's MMCRU basketball. He lost possession of the dribble, and I think he pinned it against his hip there. It's going to be MMCRU basketball bringing it up the floor with Clint Staub. Guarded by Trevor Teal. A between the legs dribble. Right side for Mulder. Down to the right baseline. Schneff tried to go back door to Mulder. And Lehman fouled Schneff from behind. The foul is Dane Lehman's first. Team foul number one of the third quarter. And MMCRU will have the inbound. Baseline right of the hoop from Stop. Right corner inbound. Bork off the dribble. Three ball. That's strong. Long rebound. Tapped into the hands of Brace and Mulder. And the Royals can reload. Left elbow. Pull up fadeaway. 13 footer from Mulder. Missed everything strong. And the rebound is tracked down by Galen Catholic. Here come the Jays with Trevor Teal. He has it top of the arc. He's already got a three here in the second half. Nolan Teal right wing. Top of the arc. Kramer left corner. Trevor Teal wants another one. And he's got it in again. A pair of threes start the second half for Trevor Teal. He's got nine, and the Jays are up 33-23, 6.20 to go in the third quarter. Kyler Bork at the top of the arc for Mulder. Looks left, finds Michael Peterson. He gets a look from downtown and missed it way too strong. The rebound comes into the hands of Dane Lehman on the backside. Here comes Nolan Teal, right side of the circles, right high post. Free throw line dish, Wilchin, turn around, 14-footer in the lane, and that's money. And the Jays are up by a dozen. They have... Gone three for three from the field here to start the second half. It is 35-23 in favor of Galen Catholic. 5.48 to go in the third. Brayson Mulder, free throw line dish. Into the hands of Kyler Bork. He backs out top of the arc, guarded by Nolan Teal. Right side wing, Clint Staub. Staub looking for Schneff. Good defense from Lehman. Skip pass left corner. Bork a catch and shoot three. That comes up short of the rebound for Gabe Wilchin. Jays bring it up. Three for three from the field to start the second half. Nolan Teal to the top of the arc. Feeds it over to Wilton, left of the circles. Gives it to Trevor Teal, curling around the pick. Left corner, Jackson Kramer. Free throw line dish, turn around, left elbow. Jumper from Nolan Teal, and that's good. And when it rains, it pours here tonight for the Jays. 37-23, Galen Catholic. 5.08 to go in the third quarter. Here come the Royals. Right corner, Brayson Mulder. Dribbles to his left, to the right elbow. And his pocket's picked by Trevor Teal. Loose ball, right corner. Gabe Wilton picks it up. And he gives it off to Dane Lehman. Galen Catholic will bring it up now with Wilchin. 4.53 to go in the third. 37-23, Jays lead. Trevor Teal wants a heat check, and he's on fire. A left corner three. It's his third of the quarter. The Jays lead by 17. Trevor Teal's got fire coming out of his fingertips and a timeout from MMCRU. We'll take the timeout as well. Jays by 17, back after this on KLEM. The Lamar's AgriCenter, your local source for Scott's lawn products, top-performing Kent feed products, a full line of agronomic inputs, bulk grass seed, bird feeders, bulk bird feed, and outstanding service. The Lamar's AgriCenter, your source for everything that grows. Advanced Eye Healthcare, Dr. Becky DeRider knows all of our student-athletes need to keep their eye on the ball. Make sure with an eye exam at Advanced Eye Healthcare at Walmart Vision Center in Lamar's. Dr. Becky DeRider. Certified public accountants, Cruz and Cruz, extend their support to all the athletes and remind everyone, in the spirit of sports, participation is more important than winning. Cruz and Cruz Accounting, proud to be a sponsor of KLEM Sports. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor. This is Nolan Teal, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on KLEM Lamar's online audio found on our website, klem1410.com. Video streaming as well on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. 4.37 to play in the third, 40-23. to 23, Galen Catholic leads MMCRU. Jays have not missed a shot. Pass down low, deflected by Gabe Wilson and Nolan Teal with the basketball. Here comes Teal, right side of the circles, drives to the high post, right elbow, right baseline to the block, and he's fouled on the floor by MMCRU. I think they're going to get John Schmellen for the foul. It is John Schmellen. His first team foul number one of the third quarter. Very clean game of basketball as far as fouls are concerned. I love it. 
Inbound pass, right block. Dane Lehman, kick out right wing. Trevor Teal, fading away three, comes up short. It's his first miss from downtown, and the Royals bring it back. Here comes Jace Culling, right corner, back out up top. It's wide Olish, left side wing. John Smellen tees up a three. It's off the heel. Glass once, no good. Offensive rebound. My, uh, Jonah Peterson goes back up on the left block, and he is fouled on a turnaround shot. I think they're going to say it's on the shot. Anyway, fouls on Jackson Kramer. It's his first. Team foul number two of the third quarter. They are going to say it's on the shot. So it is Jonah Peterson going to the line to shoot two. Just two free throw attempts all season for the senior quarterback of the football team. First for Peterson is good. And the Royals hoping that turns into some more points here the rest of the way. Down 40 to 24. Got some work to do here with 4.07 to play in the third quarter. The Jays made their first five field goals with nine points in the third quarter from Trevor Teal. Second free throw for Jonah Peterson is short. And the rebound tapped to the end line. Kept alive by Wilson in the hands of Wyatt Ollis. Throws it back in play and Trevor Teal comes up with a takeaway. Here come the Jays. Dylan Lubin gets blocked out of bounds by uh, John Schmillen. And a foul is called as he cut off Dylan Lubin's drive up the right sideline. I'm going to say the foul. Or was there a foul? Was it a foul or was it out of bounds? I think I'm going to say foul. It is a foul. 30. Yep. Okay. John Schmillen picks up his second. Team foul number two of the third quarter. We got that taken care of with 3.57 to go in the third. 40 to 24, Galen Catholic. Now the Royals meet some full court defense against Galen Catholic. And Aiden Langle Jr. throws it up into the right corner for Arns. Back to Langle the Jr. Right corner Arns. Back to Langle. Right of the circles. Dribbles once. Ball fake. Back out up top. And that ball's deflected. Taken away by Lucas Brown. Look out down below. Left hand layup in transition from Brown. And it is 40 to 26. Galen leads. Dylan Lubin nearly lose the basketball. Wilson collides with Jace Culling. And a loose ball is picked up by Lucas Brown. Here comes Brown on the left wing. Between the legs dribble. Left baseline drive to the block. Backs it out. Pass to Jonah Peterson. Deflected out of bounds by Galen Catholic. And it'll stay MMCRU ball. But now they've got three quarters of the length of the floor to go. 3.22 to go in the third quarter. It's 40 to 26, Galen Catholic. Nolan Teal in, Dane Lehman in as well. Gabe Wilson and Trevor Teal go to the bench. 3.22 left to play in the third, 40 to 26 in favor of Galen. MMCRU inbounds. And again, in Lucas Brown, who brings it up the floor for the Royals. Brown top of the key over to the right side for Wyatt Ollis. She's looking down on the right baseline, can't find him. Goes up top, they reverse it left side into the hands of Colling. Back to the left corner, Brown, and a foul away from the ball. Going against Dane Lehman. Well, too much physicality. Picks up his second personal. Team foul number three of the third quarter, and the Royals will inbound. Baseline right of the hoop. 40 to 26 in favor of Galen Catholic, and John Schmellen tries to inbound the basketball and throws it over the top of the target. And out of bounds, it'll be Galen basketball. On the turnover. So Galen to inbound to get into Dylan Lubin. Throws the middle of the floor for Nolan Teal. And he has his pocket picked by Jonah Peterson. Bounced out John Schmellen. Top of the key, Wyatt Olish. Back to Schmellen on the left side. Left corner, Peterson. Jonah Peterson back out to Schmellen. Top of the arc. It goes into the hands of Olish. Right corner for Brown. Looking for Peterson. And a foul away from the ball again. They're going to get Nolan Teal for it. He gets a little too shove happy with his post-up partner, his first, team foul number four of the third quarter. Royals will have it inbound once again. 2.50 to go in the third quarter, 40-26 to 26 in favor of Galen Catholic. Royals trying to inbound, right corner finds Lucas Brown. He's guarded by Nolan Teal, drives middle of the floor, lost the basketball, recovered by Jonah Peterson, shoves Carson Arns to the floor. And Peterson landed on top of him on his dribble drive. It's an offensive foul against Jonah Peterson. And a technical foul goes against Peterson. Uh-oh, Jonah Peterson might have said something here. So hang on. We got the personal foul against Peterson. That's his first. And then a technical foul, a foul against Jonah Peterson as well. So that's his first and his second personal foul. Team fouls number three and four. Cam Kuchel's going to be passed along the magic word that Jonah Peterson said. So that is his 
first technical foul toward disqualification. Two free throws here for Gabe Wilson, and the Jays will keep the ball, of course. First for Wilson is short. Second free throw upcoming, 40 to 26. Jays lead it, 2.45 to go in the third. And the second of the technical foul free throws is good. One for two at the line there for Gabe Wilson. It's now 41-26 in favor of Galen, 2.45 to go in the third, and the Jays will keep the basketball. Jonah Peterson checks out after the technical foul. And Mitchell Schneff checks in for him. 2.45 left in the third, 41-26 in favor of the Jays. Dylan Lubin brings it up into the half court for Galen Catholic. Pivots out, bounced it over the left side, and that ball's taken away by John Schmill, and he starts a foot race the other way, and he's fouled on the floor by Dylan Lubin in transition. And it's gonna result in free throws anyway. Dylan Lubin picks up his first. It's team foul number five. So two free throws are coming here for MMCRU. 2.34 to go in the third. John Schmelin will take these. He's not attempted a free throw yet this season. 41 to 26 in favor of the Royal, or in favor of the Jays here in MMCRU. High school's gymnasium. Two free throws coming for John Schmillen, who scored eight points all season. His first of two off the backside of the rim, no good. Second free throw coming for John Schmillen. The shot is up, and it spins around and out on the rebound for Nolan Teal. 0 for 2, trip to the line for John Schmillen. Then Nolan Teal loses the basketball, dives forward on the floor. They're going to get a jump ball to call, and the possession will stay with Galen Catholic. Royals will make some substitutions here. Michael Peterson, Kyler Moore, Clint Stobb, and Brayson Mulder back on the floor. I think that last substitution of bench players was kind of to send a message to these starters, like, hey, you, you've got to play your game here. This is not given to you. Dane Lehman, a crossover dribble, steps back in the left corner, feeds the top of the arc for Jackson Kramer. Kramer works to his left to the free throw line and out to Nolan Teal. Working to his right, bounce pass in the lane, deflected away by Mulder. Loose ball is picked up by Kyler Bork up the floor to Mulder. Easy, uncontested right hand layup for two. And it is 40 to 28 in favor of Galen Catholic. And the Jays bring it up. Arns crossed the alley pass, left block for Kramer, and he could not keep his footing in transition. He travels with the basketball, and MMCRU will get it back with two minutes to go in the third quarter. 41 to 28 in favor of Galen Catholic. Minute 55 to go in the third quarter. And here comes Brayson Mulder, right side wing for Kyler Bork. Down to the right baseline for Schnapp. Backs down Lehman to the right block. Gets into the alley. Turnaround jumper from six. Missed it wide left. And the rebound for Carson Arns. Trying to rip it out of there. Throws it up the left sideline for Kramer. And a timeout called by Galen Catholic and head coach Ryan Wilson. We'll take the timeout as well. The Jays lead this one, 41-28 with a minute to go in the third and change. We're back with more high school basketball after this on KLEM. Plymouth Awards and Engraving is a proud sponsor of local athletics. For all of your custom awards and engraving needs, visit Plymouth Awards and Engraving at 130 4th Avenue Northeast in Lamars. You are sure to find that perfect gift for anyone at Plymouth Awards and Engraving. Hey, Bobby Blazer, how long have you been waiting in that line? Head over with me to Easy Clean Car Wash. They're going to get you in and out in no time and make that black coat of yours look like a million bucks. Say, thanks there, Mickey Mustang. I've been out four-wheeling. i got lots of mud and stuff in my wheel wells and <clears throat> other places as well. Bobby, didn't Libby Lexus tell you that Easy Clean Car Wash will pre-spray those hard-to-reach places, give you a quick massage, and make you feel and look like a whole new truck? So that's what Libby Lexus has been up to. You know, Mickey, she's looking fine. Easy Clean Car Wash on 12th Street, East of High V and Lamars. This is Gabe Wilson, and you are listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. Back inside the MMCRU High School, Jim and Marcus with a minute 40 to go in the third quarter. 41 28, Gatling Catholic leads out of the J timeout. Jackson Kramer will have the inbound and has the length of the floor to go. Kramer lobs it up floor. Nolan Teal's behind the defense. Easy, uncontested. Right hand layup for two. Oh, and boy, high. Closeout trying to block the shot off the glass from Michael Peterson. He landed on the floor hard and 
They're going to say the basket is good, but now our officials are talking. They're going to say a basket interference against Michael Peterson. A technical foul is issued. So it is team foul number five for the Royals. Michael Peterson has now been issued a technical foul for basket interference. It's the second, second technical foul of the night against the Royals. Two free throws will be coming here for Gabe Wilchin because of the technical foul. The basket did count, and Wilchin's first free throws off the front of the rim and in. I've not seen a basket interference call in, a, in a, quite a while. Second free throw from Wilchin is good, 45-28. If you're watching the stream, you saw how high Michael Peterson got up. He smacked the hoop and tried to uh, tried to alter the shot. You could call a goaltend on that, but they call basket interference for a technical foul by a rule. Both free throws good for Wilchin. Jays keep the ball as well. 45-28, Galen leads. Right wing kick out Kramer down to the right baseline. Lehman works on Schnapp to the right block. Double team help, bounced out to Kramer. He drives middle of the lane, free throw line. Floater up with the right hand, and it goes in with a foul. Jackson Kramer with the basket, plus a foul from Jace Culling. And an and one free throw coming for Kramer. This has a chance to be a seven point swing in favor of the Jays. The and one free throw for Kramer is off the left side, no good. Lehman the offensive board, he puts it back up way short and then Lehman fouls Schneff on the rebound. Dane Lehman picks up his third and we'll have free throws the other way with a minute 20 to go in the third. So at the minimum, it is a six-point unanswered swing without the Royals even having a chance to get the ball. A basket, two technical foul free throws, ball back, and another basket for the Jays. But now Mitchell snaps at the line to shoot two. Just a 47% free throw shooter on the year for the Royals. His first is too strong. Mitchell Schnaff with just two points here tonight. 47 to 28 in favor of Galen Catholic. Minute 20 to go in the third quarter. And the second free throw for Mitchell Schneff. After spinning the ball to himself and a couple more bounces, the shot is up and it is good. One for two at the line there for Mitchell Schneff. A lot of averages worked out for him there. 47 29, Galen Catholic. And Jay's bringing up the floor with a minute 15 to go in the third. Nolan Teal skips it to Trevor Teal on the right side wing. Top of the arc off the dribble. Straightaway three comes up short, and the rebound to the right baseline is controlled by Brayson Mulder. And Mulder wants to run with it. Brings it up middle of the floor, all the way to the basket. Pull-up 10-footer is rejected away by Galen Catholic. I think it was Arns who got a hand on it. And here come the Jays now in transition with a loose ball. Wilson right of the lane, right corner kick out. Nolan Teal, and it's off his hands last. And out of bounds, it was deflected by Clint Staub. And then off the fingertips of Nolan Teal and out of bounds. And MMCRU will get the basketball back. 51 seconds to go in the third. 47 to 29 in favor of the Jays. Clint Staub, right elbow, feeds Mitchell Snap, faces the basket, ball swiped at, driving right block, kick out right corner, and a three ball is up from Bork and short, and the rebound with Carson Arns. And here comes Galen Catholic, Gabe Wilchin to the half court. Shot clock is still on, but the game clock and shot clock are virtually identical if not totally identical. Here is Nolan Teal, right side wing, guarded by Staub. Looking to back it out, skips it left high post for Arns, who steps back beyond the arc. Left corner to Kramer. Kramer's guarded by Bork. Looking for someone to get open, top of the key to Teal. 10 on the game and the shot clock. Teal, Nolan Teal, right elbow, pull up 14 footer, comes up short. And the rebound tracked down by MMCRU. Three seconds to go, long outlet, Jace Culling, left baseline, lobs it up, Brayson Mulder missed an alley-oop dunk at the buzzer. Oh, man, that would have given the Royals all the momentum in the world. Instead, it'll stay 47-29, Galen Catholic heading to the fourth. We'll take a break. Fourth quarter comes your way next. From Marcus here on KLEM Lamars. At American Bank, we believe in offering you what you want in a bank. Free checking, free debit and ATM cards, extended lobby and drive-up hours, competitive loans and deposit rates, online and mobile banking with bill payment and mobile deposit services. American Bank, achieving success together for over 130 years. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. A home is a safe place to be. A roof over your head and four walls to keep out the heat and cold. It's a child's laughter, a mother's song, and a father's strength. It's where we go for comfort and to 
share joy. It's your first school and your first church. It's where memories are shared. Hi, this is Julie Hurt, your Century 21 ProLink real estate agent. Whatever a home means to you, I am here to help you find the home you are looking for. Call 540-7757 and let me, Julie Hurt, help you make a house your new home. Floyd Valley Healthcare wants you to play at the peak of your skills. Don't forget to stretch your muscles, hydrate, and schedule your wellness checks to reach your full potential. Best of luck from Floyd Valley Healthcare in Lamar. This is Jackson Kramer, and you're listening to Chase Basketball and KLEM. Back to start quarter number four. It is 47 to 29 in favor of Galen Catholic and Oracle Conference Boys Basketball. MMCRU has it right block. Schneff feeds it back to Peterson, or a Mulder, excuse me, on the pull-up jumper, Miss Strong. And then going after the rebound, Brayson Mulder deflects it out of bounds. It'll be Galen Catholic basketball, 7.41 to play. And here come the Jays. Wilton in the hands of Aiden Langle, the junior, and back over to Wilton. Lobs it up floor, Nolan Teal takes it left to the alley, pull up from the left block with a right hand, is up and good. It's a 20-point Galen Catholic lead. Nolan Teal with 14. 49-29, Jays lead. Left baseline drive, Mulder to left block. He lays it in off glass through contact. Brayson Mulder gets a nice take and finish. 49-31, Jays in transition. Trevor Teal takes it right of the lane off glass for two. A nice outlet pass to Dane Lehman. And Trevor Teal got it uncontested down the right side of the lane. 51-31, Jays lead. 7.05 to play. Now here's Schnapp. Half-court circle for Clint Staub. Over to the left side wing, Brayson Mulder. Royals need some scores and stops, and they need a few of them in a hurry. Bork, right side stop, down to the right block, calling, and he's fouled from behind by Aiden Langle, the junior. Foul is against Langle, the junior. That's his second. Team foul number one of the fourth quarter. And the Royals will inbound baseline right of the hoop with Clint Staub. He's looking to find somebody open. Down to the left block, Jace Culling puts it up over Layman. Shot is short, but he was fouled. And two free throws coming for Culling. It's Layman's fourth. Team foul number two of the fourth quarter. So Carson Ahrens is going to check in for Dane Lehman, but Jace Culling has one free throw first, and it's up and good. It's 51-32, Galen leads. Second free throw upcoming, Dane Lehman out for Carson Ahrens. Aiden Langle, the junior, is out, and Dylan Lubin is in for him. Second free throw for Jace Culling is up, and it's good. Off the front of the rim, back of the rim. Perfect trip to the line for Jace Culling. That's what the Royals needed, 51-33. Galen leads, 6.48 to play. Royals with some full-court pressure. Dylan Lubin up the left sideline is fouled by Kyler Bork in transition. It is Bork's first. Team foul number one of the fourth quarter. Jays will have the basketball. And now we have really tightened things up as far as foul calls in this contest. Trevor Teal into the half court for the Jays. Between the legs dribble, nearly lost it, recovered. Clint Staub with some good tight defense, being a pass. Now Teal down to the right high post. Wilchin works on Mulder. Fade away eight-footer from the right baseline is money. Gabe Wilchin with a nice step back fade away. He's got nine. Jays are up 53-33, 6.25 to play. Lob pass, right block, Mitchell snap, backs down Orange, works to the baseline, and he traveled. He was shaking his feet, sh shuffling all the way down, and Galen Catholic will get the basketball. Royals make a full line change here. It's going to be Xander Tenninger, Camden Bork, Jonah Peterson, John Schmillen, and Wyatt Olish into the ball game for MMCRU. Galen checks out Trevor Teal and replaces him with Dane Lehman. Dylan Lubin gets the inbound. Double team trap in the corner. Pass back out. It's deflected out of bounds off the Royals. And it'll stay with the Jays. So MMCRU's bench coming out and doing a really good job of guarding the full court inbound. Lehman inbounds into Dylan Lubin. He tries to split a double team and gathers. Gets by Xander Tenninger, nearly lost the dribble, and now enters the half court. Doesn't have an outlet. Tries to rip it out of a double team, and he has fouled on the play. They're going to get Camden Bork for the foul. Camden Bork picks up his first, team foul number two. And it's Galen basketball. Got to get in off a deflection. Gabe Wilson's able to pick it up. And the Jays dump it down right high post to Dane Lehman. Back out to Wilson at the head of the key. He dribbles to his right to the corner. Dumps it down to the right block for Lehman and passes wide of him out of bounds. 
And it'll be MMCRU basketball with six minutes to go in the game, and it's 53-33 in favor of the Jays. Here come the Royals with John Schmillen, right side of the circles, screen to his left from Jonah Peterson. Schmellen on the right side wing, down to the right corner for Bork. Camden Bork, that is, dribbling left out to Schmellen on the right wing. Schmellen back out of top. Xander Tenninger sets up the offense. Back to the right side wing. John Schmellen for three, and it's good. John Schmellen hits one from the right side wing. And the Royals have a little bit of life. 53-36, Jays lead in transition. Carson Arns gets the long outlet pass. He's right under the basket for an easy right-hand layup for two. It's 55-36, Jays lead, 5.20 to go in the game. That Royal full court press is great. It forces the issue, but unfortunately, the backside of it is wide open here tonight. The Jays have been exploiting it. Lob pass down low, deflected, and kept alive by Arns into the hands of Lubin. He throws it up floor for Gabe Wilson. One on two. He waits for Lehman, trailing the play. Right side of lane to the block. He flips it up and in off glass, but they're going to get an offensive foul against Dane Lehman. Dane Lehman with his fifth personal foul. He's fouled out of the game. It's team foul number three of the fourth quarter. Dane Lehman, instead of a defensive foul, basket and one, has picked up his fifth foul on the offensive foul and gives MMCRU the ball back. Jackson Kramer is in for Dane Lehman, fouling out of this game. Five minutes to go. Royals have it with Wyatt Olish. Down to the left corner for Camden Bork. Dumps it left block. Schmellen cross alley pass. Right corner. Kept alive by Jonah Peterson, but into the hands of Nolan Teal. Teal trying to beat Tenninger to the basket. Right block off glass, and the shot is deflected by Tenninger. Here come the Royals now. Bork back door feed. Right block. Jonah Peterson challenges Arns, and he gets fouled on the layup. Now, again, everybody's going to see the hand contact and say, yeah, that was clean, but you got to look at the lower body. That is where the foul occurs. It's Arns first, team foul number four, and Jonah Peterson will have two free throws. Jonah Peterson at, has two free throws at the line. His first is good, 55-37, Galen Catholic. Congratulations there to Jonah Peterson as well. Uh... Recently announced he'll be playing football at Iowa Western Community College. That's a pretty good uh, pretty good program down there in Council Bluffs. Only the two-time defending national champions. Second free throw for Jonah Peterson is good. It's 55-38 in favor of Galen Catholic. 4.38 to go in regulation. Jays get in. Dylan Lubin, full court defense against Jackson Kramer. Pass up to Wilchin, deflected. Gives it off to Arns. Shield off pick. Right side lane to the block. And he got tied up with Camden Bork on the takeaway. It'll be a jump ball. Possession stays with Galen Catholic. 4.31 to go. 55-38 to in favor of Galen. Jackson Kramer will inbound. Baseline left of the hoop. Ball fakes left corner. Kramer lobs now. Half court stripe and pulled down by Dylan Lubin. Lubin out to Nolan Teal. Down to the left corner, Gabe Wilchin. Wilchin dribbles right, throws it back to Teal. He dribbles middle of the lane to the free throw line. Right corner kick out, Kramer dumps it down to the right block. Wilchin corrals it with one hand. Fade away, eight foot jumpers. Good right side of the lane for Gabe Wilchin. 57, 38, Galen Catholic, 4.08 to go in the game. Driving in is Eli Schlanger out to John Schmellen who buries a left of the circle three. It's 57-41, MMCRU's not done yet, and Gabe Wilchin throws it away on the outlet pass. It'll be MMCRU basketball, four minutes to go. Royals aren't done yet, they trail it by 16. Here's John Schmellen, right side wing for Xander Tenninger, back out up top, it is Camden Bork, straight away three, comes up short of the rebound for Carson Arns. And then Arns gets tied up for the basketball. And they get a foul called. Who's the foul on? They're gonna get, I think they're gonna get Carson Arns for this foul. Elbow we get an elbow violation against Carson Arns. What is that a foul? That's not a technical foul. It's not a warning either. Elbow violation is the call. Turns the basketball over, and MMCRU will have it. I, that's the first time I've ever heard of an elbow violation. <laughs> that's, that's a new one for me. That's either a foul or it's not, but 
Either way, pass down to the right corner. Camden Borks, three, spins around and out. O'Board put back off glass. Misses strong from White Olish. And then there's a foul going after the rebound. This foul's on Camden Bork. It's his second. Team foul number three of the fourth quarter. Jays will have it, 3.37 to go. And Jackson Kramer to inbound. Got to find somebody quick. Finds Gabe Wilson. Gives it up the floor into the hands of Landon Knipe. Back over to Wilson. Throws it up to the half-court stripe, but that ball is deflected by Bork, and he fouled Jackson Kramer to go for the loose ball. It's Bork's third personal. Team foul number four of the fourth quarter for MMCRU. Jays have to inbound, 3.29 to go, and now we got a substitution in. Michael Schmillen will check in here for MMCRU. He replaces John Schmillen. 57-41, to Galen Catholic leads MMCRU, 3.29 to go. Inbound to Gabe Wilson, bounce it up the floor for Jackson Kramer, has it right of the circles. Right elbow feed, Landon Knight back to the free throw line. Wilson drives into Tenninger, pull up eight footer, left of the lane is money. These are all the shots Gabe couldn't get to fall on Monday night. He's starting to get payback here, 59-41 in favor of the Jays, 3-10 to go. Here's Michael Schmellen, right side Tenninger, right corner into the hands of Olish, back to Tenninger. Right wing, tees up a contested three ball, it's short, and the rebound for Carson Arns. He lobs it up, and Nolan Teal comes down with it. Starts running up the right sideline, across the timeline, runs over the defender, Camden Bork, and an offensive foul against Nolan Teal. Nolan Teal with his second personal, team foul number five. It does not result in free throws, though. Jays had possession of the basketball, so MMCRU just gets the ball, but now it'll be MMCRU remaining in the bonus. Next Royal foul will also put the Jays in the bonus. Here's Michael Schmell into the half court, guarded by Knipe, right side into the hands of Bork. Bounce pass free throw line for Eli Schlanger. Works right, kick out pass for Olish. Over to Tenninger, left of the circle, three, too strong from Xander. Tenninger, rebound deflected around, and it's pulled down by Caden Hanks. And he gives it off to Knipe, who is fouled in the back court. We're going to get two free throws coming for Landon Knipe. The foul's on Michael Schmellen. That's his first, team foul number five of the fourth quarter. So both teams are on the bonus now. And two free throws will be coming here for Landon Knipe. 0 for 2 at the free throw line this season. Only five points scored all year for the sophomore guard, Landon Knipe. 2.34 to play, 59-41 in favor of Galen. Knipe with two free throws, and the first is up and in. 60-41, to Galen Catholic leads. Landon Knipe gets his first free throw make of the season. Second free throw upcoming. 2.34 to play, 60-41, to 41, Galen Catholic. Second free throw for Landon Knipe is up, and it's good off the front of the rim. 61-41, Jays on top as the Royals bring it up the floor quickly. They need scores and need them in a hurry. Right corner kick out, Camden Bork for three, and he puts it in. Camden Bork gets a much-needed shot to fall. Royals down 17, 61-44. Here comes Trevor Teal up the right sideline, a behind-the-back dribble, and he gets into the half court for the Jays. Lobs it left side wing. Aiden Langle, the senior, into the contest. Out to Teal, half-court circle, crossover dribble game by the defender in his pockets, picked by Camden Bork. He's got a race the other way, right-hand scoop layup off glass is good, and it's down to a 15-point game, 61-46 in favor of the Jays. Driving left sideline, Landon Knipe, he's cut off by Bork, and another foul goes against Camden Bork. That's his fourth. He's come in and picked up four fouls pretty quickly here. Landon Knipe will shoot two free throws. Two minutes to go here in this contest. 61-46, Galen Catholic leads. Knipe will shoot two. And the first off the front of the rim doesn't fall. Second free throw up coming. Minute 59 to go in the game. Second free throw coming here for Landon Knipe. It is good. One of two at the line for Knipe. 62-46, Galen Catholic leads. A minute 55 to play in regulation. Royals in the right corner with Borg. Tries to take the baseline. Drives on Langle, the senior. Dumps it into the paint for Benjamin Tenninger. Turn around, fadeaway shot from the right baseline. Misses short from Tenninger. And the rebound flagged down by the Jays. Here comes Owen Seavers. Bounces right to the alley to Aiden Langle, the senior. And he's trying to bounce it out for Zach Harpenau. Lost by MMCRU. Gives it back to Camden. Borg in transition. His left block layup misses short. And the rebound tapped out by Galen. He'll stay with the Royals with a minute 31 to go. Both teams have been emptying their bench here tonight. Dawson Pick and Owen Schrader's into the ball game here for MMCRU. I think Galen's gotten everybody off the bench here tonight. 
Caden Hanks also in the game for the Jays. Right block, pull-up jumper from Benjamin Tenninger. Missed it too strong, and the rebound flagged down by Hanks and into the hands of Landon Knight. Minute 20 to go in regulation, 62-46 in favor of Galen Catholic. Owen Seavers across the half-court circle. Now left of the circles, free throw line dish to Knipe. Spins back out over to Zach Harpenau. Right corner, Caden Hanks. Hanks bounced it out into the hands of Harpenau. Dribbles to the right wing, crossover right elbow. Back out up top, Aiden Langle, the senior. Right side wing, down to the right block for Hanks. That ball's deflected in the corner, and a loose ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Jays. It'll be MMCRU ball with a minute to go. 62 to 46, Galen leads a minute to play in regulation, and here comes Michael Schmillen, right corner now. Into the hands of Owen Schrader, works his way down to the right block on Aiden Langle, a senior, and he puts it in off glass. Owen Schrader on senior night gets a basket. He started the contest as well. 62-48, Galen Catholic, 40 seconds to play. Caden Hanks with the ball here for the Jays. Right corner now to Zach Harpenau, lobs it up top. Aiden Langle, the senior, left side Seavers, left corner to Knipe. Landon Knipe dribbles right around the head of the key to the free throw line and his pocket's picked by Dawson Pick. Here comes Pick in transition, left of the lane to the block. He lays it short, tap back is too strong as well off the glass. And then the loose ball rebound kept alive to the Jays. Here comes Caden Hanks in transition, left to the lane to the block, lays it off glass and short, but he was fouled. Two free throws are coming here for Caden Hanks. Yeah, why not we get a couple more free throws in this game, Owen Schrader. Picks up his first, and Caden Hanks will shoot his first free throws of the season. 62-48, Galen Catholic. Hanks' first free throw, high off the heel and good. 63-48, Jays on top. 14 and a half seconds to play. Second free throw for Hanks is up and in. Perfect trip to the line for Caden Hanks. 64-48, Jays lead. 14 seconds to go. Here comes Michael Schmellen. Skip pass left side, down to the left corner. Noah Gallus dribbles to his right, left elbow, kick out pass. Wide open, look at a three for Schrader, missed it short. Rebound Owen Seavers, and that should be all she wrote here from Marcus. Your final score tonight, Gagelin Catholic 64 and MMCRU 48. The Jays snapped their three-game losing skid, improved to 8-11 and on the year, now 5-4 and in the War Eagle Conference. Meanwhile, MMCRU drops to 11-7 and 6-3. and in the conference. Final score once again, 64 to 48. Galen Catholic defeats MMCRU tonight and picks up their first win in four games. We'll take a break, come back, we'll have our post-game coverage, we'll run down the contest, and we're also gonna try and flag down Ryan Wilchin, the head coach of Galen Catholic Boys Basketball, get his thoughts on tonight's contest. And the final, 64-48, Jays beat MMCRU. We'll take a break, post-game coverage on the way next here on KLEM. Young and old alike enjoy the competition of high school sports. Some participate, some watch, and some remember how it was. It's only a game, but it offers great life lessons and memories that last a lifetime. A few thoughts from Dan and Lori Rexwinkle of Rexwinkle Funeral Homes in Lamar's in Akron. Supporting our students in their endeavors at school is important to Prime Bank. Making sure that our students have the best chance for success is why we work hard to provide our backing. Prime Bank wishes all of our teams and groups good luck. Make sure your life runs smoothly with an upgraded internet package from Premier Communications, connecting you with the internet speed and television access package that best fits your wants and needs. Premier Communications is happy to support our area coaches, athletes, and the parents who support them. Have a great season. Peace Pizza House is your destination before and after the game. Whether you need to feed the whole family or just looking to get out before the game, make sure to stop at Peace Pizza House. You'll find many appetizers, burgers, salads, pasta, and of course, Peace Pizza House outstanding pizza selections. Your entire family is sure to find something they're looking for. Peace Pizza House would like to wish our local teams the best of luck this season. Williams & Company Certified Public Accountants congratulates all area athletes in support of excellence, good sportsmanship, and the spirit of teamwork. A proud sports sponsor, Williams & Company CPAs, your full-service business advisor with a local office in Lamar's. Being on the winning team in Northwest Iowa for over 130 years, Iowa State Bank is a proud supporter of all our area high school sports teams. Iowa State Bank. 
Grow your money risk-free. Open a certificate of deposit from Northwest Bank. We give you options and competitive rates to earn more interest and meet your investment goals. Our liquid CD gives you the flexibility to withdraw funds before maturity without penalty, so you don't need to worry about access to your money. Limitations apply. Check out all of our CD specials online at nw.bank forward slash best rates for more details. Northwest Bank, member FDIC. Hi, this is Julie Hurt with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars, your local real estate expert dedicated to results. Whether buying or selling a home, call me, Julie Hurt, with Century 21 ProLink in Lamars at 540-7757. That's 540-7757. LSI Staffing has one mission, to match employers with great employees. If your manufacturing business is looking to partner with an industry leader, LSI Staffing is worth the call. Call them today at 712-202-2850. Galen Catholic School, excellence in education, leadership through Christ. For information, check their website at galencatholic.org. This is Trevor Teal, and you're listening to Jays Basketball on KLEM. We welcome you back inside the MMCRU High School Gym here in Marcus. Daniel Versteg with you on our postgame coverage as Galen Catholic defeats MMCRU here tonight by the final score of 64 to 48. What a uh, what an interesting ball game it was uh, between these two squads. Uh, Jays got up by 20 there early part of the uh, second half and uh, just didn't look back. It was uh, kind of uh, on from there. The Jays made their first five shots of the night and were able to pull away uh, first first five shots of the second half, I should say. At that point, they were up 17. And by that point, uh, you can call off the dogs because that ball game was over. It was 64-48. The final score once again as Galen Catholic defeats MMCRU tonight. The Jays have snapped the three-game losing skid, improved to 8-11, 5-4 in the War Eagle Conference. MMCRU drops to 11-7. They are now 7-2 in the War Eagle Conference, or 6-3, uh, excuse me in the War Eagle Conference as the Jays win it by 16 points. And we are joined by a victorious head coach of the Galen Catholic boys basketball team, Coach Ryan Wilchin. And Coach, um, boy, were you were you sweating a lot? Did you get a victory <laughs> celebration? <laughs> Got my first uh, victory shower there, there Daniel. The boys are pretty excited. We've been looking for that signature win all year. Marcus is a, MMCRU is a really, really good team. They've had a couple good games this week where they, they could have beat St. Mary's, they could have beat South O'Brien. So for us to come out and play them that well, uh, we're, the kids are pretty stoked. And it snaps a three-game losing skid, too. I'm, I'm sure that's also part of the excitement, too. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Um, but, yeah, uh, the boys, they, you know, they came out the first quarter and they, and they played well. We've been talking all year. The last three games, we didn't come out of the shoot very well. Yeah. Tonight we did. Um, I could tell in the locker room we were focused, Daniel, from the pregame speech to the, the prayers. I could feel it, the intensity in, in their eyes, and they were ready from the from start. It seemed like they were ready, especially on the defensive end. Defensive side. It was low-scoring first quarter. You yep. held MMCRU off the board for a while. What, what was the, the key defensively? Uh, I think, honestly, Marcus's legs were a little tight sure. and a little tired. Um, yeah, fourth game of the week for them. But... I mean. <laughs> but on our credit, we came out and got the lead. Yeah. So, and I keep telling the boys, you play with the lead, you play with the lead, it's easier to play. And we got the lead, and we were able to stay in that, and then they got their starters in there. They got a little momentum. They hit two threes on us. But, you know, we had the lead, and we tried to just keep the noose on them. Right. And uh, it, it fed, we fed off that defensively. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then it turned into offense, Coach. I, I know you, you had some transition baskets. Yeah. But, but you were scoring in the half court, too. I, I, I believe I had you. What I have it, 25 of, 50, of 41 from the field. I yep. mean, that's a really efficient night. So, so what was working offensively? We didn't turn it over, Daniel. Yeah. Bottom line is, uh, we were passing the ball well tonight. We actually, I could tell it in the guys last two or three games, the body was moving faster than our mind. Mm. And tonight, we got we got it slowed down physically for us. Uh, our mind was moving quicker. We made crisper passes. We got the ball inside to start out. We didn't start doing one cast threes and, and we got the kick out threes and, and that showed in our shooting percentage second half you guys can't miss i mean trevor teal had a lot of those yeah. shots there to start the second half yep. but it was everybody i mean when when the guys are clicking offensively 
I mean, you just got to kind of feel like, all right, I'm just along for the ride. I'm just going to watch it from here, right? Yeah, I told the guys no one pass threes, but after Trevor made two in a row, I'm like, go for it, big, <laughs> big fella. But, uh, you know, the boys were focused at halftime again. We've come out of halftime the last three games very well. Right. Uh, so I, last thing I wanted tonight was to have a good first half and then come out a little slow the second half. So we talked about the locker room, about staying focused. They're good. Marks is a really good team. They're going to come out and hit us. Yep. And I think we brought the momentum, and we set the stage the, second, the third quarter. And then obviously Trevor coming out, he hasn't got hot in a while. Mm -hmm. So it was good to see him finally get that back. And, and another guy who got hot for you, I mean, Nolan Teal. Yep. He seemed to, to know where to cut on the floor. Where, wherever a pass needed to be made, he was there for it. And, and Gabe Wilchin. I mean, Gabe, Gabe was taking those shots on Monday night and weren't falling, yep. and they finally started falling tonight. Yeah, they fell for him. He got a couple of fadeaways in. They're big inside, yeah. and we talked to him about not taking three-pointers early in the game, about shooting twos, <laughs> getting the lane, and he, he did miss his first couple, but uh, he made some mad for that, and no one – Nolan Teal's got, you know, great athleticism, and we've just been working with him. We finally had three practices in a row, and, we're, you know, we're, we're Nolan, you're, you're a great talent. His mind was really – he's the guy that's really got to slow his mind down. Yeah. He's actually the opposite. His <laughs> mind gets going so fast sometimes his body can't keep up. Yeah. But tonight he was able to slow down. He made the best decisions on the offense and defense that he's made all year. Yeah. Made the right passes at the right time, and you could tell it in his shooting. He had touch. Everything went up, was soft off the rim. He really played well tonight for us. And then Dane Lehman, yeah. early, Dane Lehman set the, the tone defensively. Mm -hmm. He was everywhere, yeah. che hand-checking people, stealing balls. He really set the intensity for us. How much of that maybe came from his Monday night performance? Because he came off the bench, had yep. a big night Monday night, yep. and then you put him in the starting lineup tonight. Yeah, Dane's been really, you know, he's been on the verge of starting most of the year. Mm -hmm. And just really his ball handling has always been his niche. Yep. Uh, a great ball handler, especially games like this where, the, where they got a lot of pressure. Um, He's been close to that starting lineup, and I just we just kind of went for it. Carson's kind of coming back from that knee injury, not, and he needed a little bit of break. And you know, Dane's filling those shoes, and he's and he's doing great. He's doing a great job. Uh, this has got to feel extra special, like you said. MMCRU's having a great year. They are. Uh, you guys had lost five of your last six coming into it, Coach. Uh, fr from this game, you got two more next week. Yep. What What's the key to now? Now that you've gotten back on the right track, you got to win. How do you, you know, continue to play your best basketball to finish the year? We needed this, Daniel, yeah. more than you can imagine. Yeah. We yeah. haven't beat a real signature team. We beat Hinton, mm -hmm. and we wanted this kind of game to lead us into tournament. Yeah. So we come back with two games. Hopefully we can build on this. I think we can maybe play with South O'Brien. We played them well um, in the second half last game. Yeah. Build on this. Now teams, at least in the tournament, are going to look and say, hey, we got to play against Galen. And yep. we, they've had to all year, but we really didn't get the recognition maybe that we should have because we haven't got the win. Right. But now we got it. Yeah, you, you've gotten the win. Uh, it'll definitely, uh, I think, hopefully uh, up your seating maybe yep. in the district tournament. So a really fun one. Congrats on the win again, Coach, and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully talk next week. All right, thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Absolutely. It's Ryan Wilchin, head coach of uh, Galen Catholic. Girls, uh, boys basketball here on our post-game coverage, a 64-48 victory for Galen Catholic over MMCRU tonight. The Royals uh, fall to 11-7, 6-3 in the conference. Galen improves to 8-11 and 5-4 in War Eagle Conference. Make sure you join us uh, tomorrow morning on the KLEM Coaches Corner. We'll talk with Brandon Shecker, Galen Catholic girls basketball, Lamar's community head coach Sidney Baumgartner, and the Bulldog girls wrestling coach Greer Millage. Talk uh, all things state wrestling coming up on the Coach's Corner tomorrow morning at 8.05. Until then, Daniel Versteg, Nick Gengler running our video stream here tonight on the KLEM Radio YouTube channel. You've been listening to War Eagle Conference Basketball right here on KLEM Lamar's. Good evening, everyone. This is 1410 KLEM Lamar's and on 96.